Hello friends, I'm Nayashik from blogdude.com and welcome to another amazing video. In this video, we'll see how to create this website which you see on your screen. Now I can guarantee you one thing guys, this is going to be the most amazing, the most beautiful, super functional, super professional website that you have ever seen and you have ever created. And I'll be giving all the images, all the layouts, whatever I have used in this video for free. So you just have to watch the video. I'll In the middle of the video, I'll show you and I'll teach you how you can get them for free. Now the design which I have created, the website which I have created is suitable for any kind of business. So whether you're running any kind of business like digital marketing, SEO, manufacturing business, retail, wholesale, whatever kind of business you're running, this website is perfect for you. I have seen all the aspects and I have created the website based on the latest design and latest technology. I have seen many big companies website like Apple, Microsoft and so on and I have adjusted and created a very similar design. In fact, a better design than those. Now you will see there are many type of websites that are going today. For example, there is a website called one page website, which is very, very famous nowadays. So in this video, I'll show you how to create both a one page website and a normal, normal website, which you see like different pages, like contact us page, about us page, a services page, our team page, and so on. Now, without wasting any time, let's see the demo website, which I have created for you guys. So this is the website which you see on the screen. Now at the top we have our header. This is our header and here we have our logo. This is a very simple, very nice logo. In the middle we have our navigation bar. We have the menu. As you can see the color of the menu is white and when we hover this the color changes. Then we also have this thing over here. We will also see how to put this beautiful call to action button in your navigation bar. Okay. Now, as I said to you earlier, this is both a one page website and a multi page, which is a normal website. So for example, let me show you one thing. When you click on this why us, as you can see, it is not redirecting you to other page, but a different section. And when you click on this contact page, it is actually redirecting you to this section. So all the pages, all the section which we need are created in one page in one website and you are just redirecting people to different sections and if you see over here we have different pages which will redirect user to different actual different pages so we'll see how to create both of them now as I said to you this is a navigation bar now a very cool thing about this is if you see this is a transparent navigation bar we can see the image in the background now what happens when we scroll down now as you can see when we scroll down it is uh, getting a color a background color which is bla black background color and also the navigation menu is sticky it is fixed whether you scroll up down it is fixed with us now this is also a very important thing now this is our first section as you can see we have a full width image in the background then we have a title, subtitle and a call to action button. And as I said you earlier guys, I have seen all the websites of big companies and they have a similar design. The first section is a full width image and they have a title, subtitle and a call to action button. Now let's see the second section. This is our second section. Again, a very beautiful section. We have our title, a divider. You can see this divider is very small, but it has a great impact on the website. We have three different icons, all different color and beautiful icons. Then we have some services about our company or about our website. Then after that, we have another section. This is the third section. We have a beautiful image in the background. Then again, title, subtitle, divider and four different services. We have used different icons and different colors throughout the website. We have tried to improve and we, in fact, we have tried to take the design of the website on another level or everything which you, which you see is really, really beautiful. After that, we have this section. Again, we have this image at the left hand side and at the right hand side. In fact, we have the image at the right hand side and at the left hand side, we have this title, subtitle and again, a call to action button. Then after that, we have the gallery section. We have different images and it is when you hover any one of this image, you can see the color changes and we have an icon in between. Then we have our advantages section. We have again used different icons and uh, it is a number counter. As you can see, this is a number counter. It says we have done 364 projects. We have 16 consultants. We have uh, won around 12 awards and so on. 
then we have a next section again a background image then we have given an overlay to that image so that it makes dark image and we can you know put light color on that dark image so it gives a very good contrast then we have our testimonial section this is also a very very important section for any website we have three different testimonials by three different companies okay then after that we have a frequently asked question as you can see when we click on any one of these it pops up and in fact it expands and the other one just you know gets inside then we have this section which is our partner section you can put in the logo of your partner or your sponsors whoever it is then at the bottom we also have a contact form okay you can see this is a very simple and very elegant contact form then at the bottom we have this section which is which says if you still have any questions left you can call us for a free consultation now if you see throughout the website we have maintained the same color the same fonts now that looks that gives a very professional look to the website now let us see the footer so this is our footer we have this thing in the footer we have a newsletter section and we have some social icons then we have four different widgets in the footer. We have our contact information, a small section about us and some navigation thing. Now let's see different pages because we have seen the about us page. In fact, this was the home page. Now let's see how our about us page looks like. This is our about us page. We have at the top a very beautiful section full with image, the title of the page and a subtitle. After that, we'll see four things, four logos over here, four icons, and we see a very beautiful animation. Then we have this section, which is a number counter. We have completed 999 projects. We have 48 staff members, and there is a background image over here. And this is using a parallax effect. If you see, when I scroll up and down, the image remains constant. Now that is what is called parallax effect. Now this is our team section. We have all the executive managers of our company over here. Then again, we have our testimonial section and this section is constant throughout the website. This newsletter and this social icon section and this footer section is constant throughout the website. So this was our about us page. Now let's see the services page. This is our services page. Now in all the pages, you'll see the top section is very much similar. We have a full width image title divider and a subtitle because this is how a big companies have their website they have made their website in a very similar way after that we have one service over here we have the title divider something written about that service and a call to action so that the people or the person who is visiting your website can opt in for the service then we have an image at the right hand side then we have uh, some you know different kind of design over here we, here we have the image at the right hand side here we have the image at the left hand side and we have another service over here. You can create many different services. I have just decided to create only two. You can just use the same technique and create a number of services over here. Now let's see our team section or our team page. Now again, as I said you earlier, the top section is very much similar. After that, we have all our team members over here. Then we also have a facts page. Now this is as I said you earlier, we had these sections in the home page, but that was if you wanted to create a single page website and I have created all these things in different pages so that you can follow on. And if we, even if you want to create a single page website or a multi page website, you can use this video to create both of them. Now this is a facts page you because you know what happens is it does not make any sense you know someone you know hundred of people are asking you about the same question so what you do you create a different page for that so that all the popular questions which are very common which are you know always asked to your companies you have all these questions over here so that they don't have to email you for this question again and again we have also created a contact us page now let's see how that looks. We'll see how to put this map at the top. We also have a marker. When you click on this marker, you have your company name, your address and phone number. And then we have two different sections. At the left hand side, you have your contact information like your address, phone number and your office timing. And at the right hand side, we have the beautiful contact form. So this was our contact us page. So I hope you guys like the demo website. This was the demo website. This was in fact a very short demo website. I didn't go into detail to explain you all the 
things all the elements which i have used this is going to be a very great video i hope you guys will like it if you want to make this website if you like the demo website and if you want to make and if you want to create this website then stay tuned now before proceeding further make sure you guys subscribe to my channel and also click on that bell icon so that you don't miss any future videos also give a thumbs up to this video i would really appreciate that and throughout the video if you guys have any doubt any queries any request whatsoever you guys can put them in the comment section below i always reply to those comments and i would really love to solve your problem we have already seen the demo website now we have to create the real website now to create any kind of website whether it be a business website an e-commerce website a membership website a simple blog any kind of website we need two basic things a domain name and a hosting account there are many many different companies that provide both domain name and a hosting account but we have to select those companies very carefully because this is what is going to stay with you for a very long period of time and a lot of things depend in fact everything depends on your hosting your site speed and everything all the important things depends on your hosting so we have to select a very good hosting provider now the hosting provider which I recommend is TMD hosting it is really amazing I'll show you in a moment why do I recommend that now what you can do open a new tab and there in type in blogdo.com slash TMD okay so they are giving some 60% discount on the normal web hosting the shared hosting but we don't need share hosting because share hosting are very very slow and I always recommend cloud hosting so you can click on this button which says get into cloud now now you should be redirected to this page here we have three different plans the starter cloud the business cloud and the enterprise cloud now let's see what is the difference between these three different uh, plans and why do we recommend TMD hosting so first understand the concept of hosting as I said you earlier there are many different things that depend on your hosting and you might be thinking what is this hosting now hosting is nothing but a computer which is running 24 7 and it has all your files all your images which are there on your website for example if you see the demo website now this has this image this has this background image it has all these files and everything is stored somewhere and whenever someone visits your domain name they are presented all this data okay the images and so on that's why they can see your website anywhere from any part of the world okay so that is what a hosting is now if you see over here the hosting which these guys are using has a very strong computer the computer which these guys are using has a six core cpu it is running 6 GB of DDR4 RAM. Now this is really good. Okay, we need a very strong computer. The stronger and better the computer, the better will be your performance of the website. Now the next feature is unlimited bandwidth. Now bandwidth is a data is or is the limit of the data which you can upload and download from the website. So user can download and upload un unlimited number of data from your website. After that we have the most important feature which is the SSD space. Now if you are familiar with computer it is a very basic thing that we know the difference between the SSD and normal HDD hosting. Normal HDD are very uh, the normal HDD hard drives are very slow as compared to the SSDs and this is the same case with the hosting. SSDs are very very faster than the SDD. If you want, you can do some research. You can just open a new tab, type in Google SSD versus HDD web hosting. You'll get all the result related to that. So we have so many different posts written on that. You can read any one of them. They all will show you the same result. Now what I normally do is click on images because you know we have some different data, some graphs and we don't have to read you know many different things to understand that so let's open the first result now as you can see guys this is the first result it is loading now the first criteria or criterion is speed as you can see the speed of the SSD is way more better and faster than the normal HDD now you can see it says higher the better the second thing is IOPS now here also it says higher the better and you can see the difference over here 
the third thing is latency it says lower the better and you can see again the difference between those okay guys so this is a very important feature the ssd hosting space now not only that it has an ssd space but it also has unlimited ssd space because there are few companies that do provide ssd space but they don't provide unlimited ssd space and here we are getting unlimited ssd so this is another amazing feature after that we have unlimited websites hosted now this is also a very very important feature because suppose you're creating this website today tomorrow you might need to create an e-commerce website or some different website or maybe another business website so for that you don't have to purchase a different hosting you can host the same website in the same hosting in fact you can host that website which you're creating in the same hosting in fact you can host unlimited number of website in one single hosting so this is a really good feature after that we have a free domain so you'll be getting a free domain if you sign up with any one of these plans the nayashake.com website which i own is a free domain which i got when i signed up with tmd hosting we also get premium support free cpanel nice web server and wildcard ssl now this is also a very good feature ssl is nothing but this certificate which you see this green socket over here this is the ssl so we'll get this ssl and we'll we'll get wildcard ssl which means that we can install ssl certificates on unlimited number of websites and subdomains because in the open market if you go and you know purchase one ssl certificate it will cost you around 40 to 100 bucks okay anything between 40 to 100 bucks so we are saving a lot of money over here we also get optimum cache it will improve the speed and performance of your website then we have instant cache memory cache instance of 256 mb performance is three times better than these two plans we also get a 60 days money back guarantee so you can select any one of these plans i would never recommend anyone to go with the starter cloud the reason is very simple it has one website hosted so you can host only one single website over here so to suppose tomorrow if you want to create another website you will have to purchase the hosting account again to host that website you can go with the business cloud or the enterprise cloud you have unlimited ssd space unlimited website hosted okay now i am using the enterprise cloud so i'll click on this uh, i'll click on get started with uh, enterprise cloud so click on this button now here you have to put in the domain name which you want for free for example you can put in anything like nayashake1.com i'm not putting nayashake.com because i already own nayashake.com now you can select any extension for example instead of .com suppose you want .org dot net dot us and if you are creating a website for a specific country for example for india you can select dot un for uk you can select dot uk okay and if you're creating any ngo website any non-profitable organization website then you can select this dot org or if you're creating any organization or if you're creating any website for any organization you can select this dot org but for most of the people, I would recommend you to go with the .com because this is the most commonly used. It is very popular. In fact, the most popular domain name extension. So type in your domain name, you which you whichever you want, whatever you want and select .com from here and click on proceed. Now here you have to put in some basic information about yourself, like your first name, last name, email address, phone number, state, zip code and so on. After that, we have a payment information section. Now you can select the type of the card which you want to use. For example, you can pay through Visa, MasterCard, Discover, American Express, Visa Electron. You can put in your card number, CVV number, everything over here. You can also pay through PayPal. You can just have, you just have to click on this PayPal and you can pay through PayPal. I would recommend you to pay with your credit card or your debit card. It's all up to you. After that, we have purchase information section. Now from here, you have to select your data center location. Now when you click on this, this is actually a drop down. You have few options over here. Now what I recommend is selecting the one which says nearest to you. For example, here Singapore says nearest to me. So I'm selecting this one. After that, we have the period. By default, 12 months period is selected. You can select 24 months, 36 months. 
I would highly recommend you to go with the 12 months. Don't ever go with the one month plan. The simple reason is that you are, if you go with the one month plan, you will have to you know renew your plan every single month and also you'll have to pay $7 more every month. For example, if you go with the 12 month plan, you will have to pay $13 per month and in the single month plan, you will have to pay $20 per month. So I would highly recommend you guys to select the 12 month plan. Select the 12 month plan. Now you have this thing automatically ticked, which is domain privacy. It's all up to you. And in fact, I recommend this. Now domain privacy is nothing but, you know, there is a website called whois.com. Whenever someone goes to that website and puts in your domain name, they will get some basic information like your name, your address and so on. But if you are, if you have this thing enabled, the domain privacy, they cannot see anything or any information about you. Okay, so this is kind of recommended. And the last and most important thing is promo code. Now here, just enter Nair7, N-A-Y-A-R and Numeric7 and click on apply. Now as you can see, it says this promo code gives you 7% off this purchase. And 7% is the highest discount that anyone can get with the cloud hosting. TMD doesn't offer more than 7% discount on cloud hosting. So you're getting the highest discount possible. You'll see all the coupons, all the links in the video description below. You can see the video description. It will help you a lot. After doing all this thing, just tick mark over here. It says, I agree to the TMD hosting terms of service and click on this checkout button. Once you click on that checkout button, you will receive an email from TMD hosting. This would look something like this. It has all the important information about your hosting. For example, it has your username, password, your hosting package, whatever you're using, your server IP, your name servers, and so on. It also have your FTP details. Okay, so your FTP address, FTP URL, the cPanel URL, and so on. So what I would recommend you guys is to save all this information somewhere in your computer. If you own multiple uh, email addresses, then you can forward them to those different email addresses. Just make sure that all this information over here is secured. Now at the bottom, you'll see a link which says control panel link. Open that link in a new tab. If you don't know what this link is, you can just type in your domain name slash cPanel. It will get you over here. Now over here, just type in the username and password which you got on that email and click on login. Now this is the cPanel. Most of the companies use a very similar cPanel. Okay, so what we have to do, there are many different options. Now we don't have to play around with any one of this. We have to go at the bottom and here you'll see under Softaculous app installer, the first option is WordPress. So click on WordPress. Now we'll be installing WordPress on our domain name. We have registered a domain name. Now it's time to install WordPress on our domain name. To do so, just click on this install now button. Now from here, make sure HTTPS is selected, okay? So select anyone which says HTTPS. You can select HTTPS or HTTPS www, okay? So I'm selecting the last one, HTTPS www. And from here, you have to choose in your domain name. You will have only one domain name over here if, you have, if you're following this tutorial, if you're creating anything for the first time. But I have created many different websites using TMD, so I'm seeing many different domain names over here. After that, we have our indirectory section. Now delete everything that we have in this box, just delete it. Make sure this box is empty, okay? After that, we have to put in your site name and site description. Now your site name can be anything like your company name. For example, for me, it will be blog dude. This is my site name. And site description is, you no. Know, in some, in very few words, you have to describe your company or your website. So I will just type in a blog. It's just a simple thing. You can type in anything over here, anything about your website. Now this is a very important section, admin account. Here you have to select the username and password for your account. Now don't let it be to admin and pass. Once, if you do so, there are many high chances, very high chances of your site getting hacked. And if once your site gets hacked, you, everything that you have created will be destroyed. You'll have to do everything from scratch, from beginning. So I would never recommend you guys, don't be lazy, just change it from here, okay? 
just change admin and password put in anything like I mostly put near my name first letter is capital because this is case sensitive then I put underscore and after that I type in my surname which is shake and again over here the first letter is capital okay now let's change your password what I'll do I'll hide this so that no one can see this and I'll put in my password over here okay fine after that just change in your admin email you can put in anything I'm putting in my email address over here then go at the bottom and click on install so this is getting installed it will take few seconds and it will install WordPress on your domain name it mm, takes around 10 15 seconds as you can see everything is done now once it's done you'll get two different links over here this is this is your first and the main website link and after that we have the dashboard URL or the administrative URL now what you have to do you have to click on the second link the administrative URL so click on that and we can cut all these things from here now once you click on that you will be redirected to your dashboard so this is your dashboard okay now first thing that you have to do if you see any of any similar message like this just click on this logout okay and go to plugins from the left hand side you will see many different options here we have plugins click on plugins now we have many different plugins installed now we don't need any one of this right now so what I'll do I'll deactivate this one now once all the plugins are deactivated I'll tick mark over here it will select everything and from bulk action I'll select delete and click on apply now it will delete all the three plugins because we don't need those plugins so we have to you know free up some space after that click on appearances here we have few themes themes are nothing but the design of your website okay so if you want a really beautiful website then you have to go and get a very beautiful theme and plugins which we just deleted is nothing but it improves and adds some additional functionalities to your web WordPress website for example to convert your normal website into an e-commerce website where a user can purchase the product and so on you have to install a plugin called WooCommerce so that is what a plugin is and theme is just the design now here as you can see we have three different themes but we don't need three different themes okay we need only one theme so these two themes are extra and we are not I don't think we are ever going to require this these are really old themes so you can click on this and from the bottom just click on delete and delete all the themes okay fine now we have only one theme over here now let us see how our website is looking at present so if you want to see that you can just hover over this you'll see this visit site option you can open this link in a new tab and we can see our website so this is how our website is looking at present not bad but still this is not the website which we want we want to create something amazing like this one okay so to do so we need a different theme and that theme is called monstroid if you want to get that theme you can see the link in the video description below monstroid 2 theme you can select you can click on that link you will be redirected to that theme page or else what you can do you can just open a new tab type in blog 2com slash m2 okay it will redirect you to this monstroid 2 wordpress theme page now this is the most sold wordpress theme on this website the template monster.com website this is really really amazing website as you can see it has sold more than 5000 copies and there are 251 people who have given it a 5 star rating now this is a really really cool theme I really like it that's why I have used this one to create this website now if you want to get this theme just click on this button it says get it now and you'll love it just click on this button you don't need to add anything from here just click on this checkout button now enter in your email address over here then click on continue okay uh, I have already a account that's why it is asking for my password I'll just select my account and click on go
okay i won't make any payment because i have already purchased this theme so i won't do that what i'll do i'll go to my account and just show you how you can download this theme once you have purchased it okay once you have purchased that and once you have created an account with this template monster you'll see this tab your account tab over here when you click on this you'll get different options so what you have to do you have to click on downloads now this is the theme which we just purchased the monstroid 2 multi-purpose wordpress theme now just click on this download link button and your theme will start downloading now i won't do that because i have already downloaded this theme so once you download the theme you'll get a file something like this template 62 uh, 62222 something like this this is a zip file the first thing that you have to do you have to unzip this okay so first thing extract files and once you unzip this extract files you'll get a folder with the same name now open this folder in this folder folder you'll see another file called theme open that and in that you'll see this monstroid 2 now this is the one or this is the file which we have to upload on our website so let's go back to our website in the manage theme section now if you have to add a new theme just click on this add new button now click on this upload theme button because we have our file and we have to upload that file now click on choose file now select the location wherever you have saved that file so i have it over here monstroid 2 and this is the file monstroid 2 theme file select this click on open click on install now okay guys so as you can see now it says the theme is completely installed it's successfully installed now it's time to activate the theme so just click on this button which says activate so once the theme is activated you can just click on this button which says begin installing plugin it needs a plugin which which is called cherry plugin wizard it is a very important plugin in fact once this theme is uploaded you can even delete this theme if you want now click on begin installing plugin now you can just click on this install button okay now click on return to dashboard now you can just dismiss this notice now let's come back to our website let's refresh and let's see the changes okay so let this is loading now this is how our website is looking at present now you can see the thing is totally changed now this is looking very much similar to this one you know the header and everything now let's start creating the website but before that we'll need some more plugins to make our website very stronger very you know functional so what you can do we can just hover plugins and click on add new and click on upload plugins click on choose file now here you can select this uh, template which you just downloaded open this file here we'll have themes open themes manual install then plugins now here you'll see the many many different plugins but we don't need to install all of them we need only 15 plugins so what you can do we can just cancel this for a second now go to my website blogdo.com in fact i'll give this link in the video description below you can click on that link and you'll be directly redirected to this page okay now this is the link i'm talking about now here you'll see uh, this is the monstroid theme you can download the theme from here now here this section is a locked section you will have to subscribe to my channel to unlock this section now this is a very important section let me tell you why let us first uns uh, just unlock this let's subscribe with any one of the channels okay so once you subscribe this this will just disappear as you can see it has disappeared now i have given all the images layouts and css files for free you just have to click on this download button okay now as you can see the download is started let me cancel this because i have already downloaded this now once you download this you'll see a file something like this this is the file monstroid 2 images and something and when you extract this file you'll get all these images uh, for free which i have used in my website you also get one thing which is called one folder which is called plugins list 
when you open this folder you will have this file open this file here you will have a list of 15 different plugins now these are the only plugins which we need so you can select this and this you can just uh, you know we have to select only and we have to install only these 15 plugins we don't need any extra plugins on our website so let's start doing that come back to this section again add plugin section and click on choose file now again go to this template folder theme manual install plugins now from here install one by one all the 15 plugins which are there in this list okay so it will take some time what i'll do i'll pause this video i'll install all the plugins and after that i'll continue the video okay guys as you can see i have installed all the 15 plugins here as you can see it says all 15 activate 15 so i have installed updated and activated all the 15 plugins now most of the thing are done now we have to start doing the fun thing the most amazing thing that is creating the website so let's start by creating the home page first so let's do that come back to your dashboard at the left hand side you will see many different options and from there you will see something called pages hover pages and click on add new now here you have to enter the title so we'll put in home page after that you'll see at the right hand side something called page attributes and in that you'll see an option called template now select that option and select landing page because this will be our landing page the home page will be our landing page now once you do so scroll down now make sure you don't have any sidebar your header section is in fact all these things will be fine so we don't have to do anything from here because we have selected the landing page now just click on publish now let's view this page in a new tab so open this link in a new tab okay so this is our landing page our home page now if you see over here when we see our home page we are getting our website link slash home page but you don't need this slash home page in fact whenever we click on this icon we should be redirected to this page and we don't want this home page we want to remove this okay like we have in a demo website we have we are on the home page but we don't have this slash home page we have only our url so let's do that so to do so first we'll have to set this page as our home page because now we have just created a normal page and we have named it home page it is not officially our home page so let's do that now from the right hand side you will see something called settings hover settings and click on reading now here the first option is your home page displays so by default it is always at your latest post but we'll have to click on over here a static page and under home page we'll have to select the page which we just created this is the page the home page this is the page which is just created now click on save changes now again come back to your website refresh this page now as you can see when we refreshed the slash home page is gone now we can start working on this page we can get rid of all these things again come back to your dashboard go to pages and let's delete this sample page because this is a sample page which is created by default we don't need this so we can just click on this trash fine now click on this edit button under home page and now you should see front page written uh, besides home page which means we are successful now click on this edit button now a great thing about this theme the monstroid 2 theme is that it has an inbuilt page builder which is called power builder you so this is a very very powerful as the name suggests the name itself is power builder this is a very powerful page builder we'll see how it is powerful okay and you'll get to know why i call it powerful so first thing if you see in the demo website we have a full width image we have some text sub some text and a call to action button so let's add that now if you see over here there is one section already created and in that section we have another row and in that row we'll have to add a column okay so this is how it works all the page builder works the same way whether it be 
the Elementor page builder, the DB page builder, any page builder, it works the same way. We have a section, under section we have a row and in that row we have some columns. For example, this complete thing is one section. In this section we have a row, so this is a row. And this row has one single column. As you can see, it is all in a single column. Okay, so that is how it works. Now you can just click on insert columns. Now we have only one single column. We don't have two or three columns. So we'll click on one. Now in this column, we need to insert some modules. So click on insert modules. Now there are many pre-built modules available over here. Here we need to add some text. So we'll select the text module. So click on text. Now we have to select the text orientation. If you see in the demo website, everything is centered. Okay, so everything is aligned and oriented centered. So we'll select centered from here. Now here you can type in the text. So what I'll do instead of typing anything, I'll just copy this thing and paste it over here. Now notice that when I select this thing, the top section, these two lines, if you, when you see, these two are heading two. When I select this, I get this heading option over here. When I open this, you can get, you can see that heading two is selected. So heading two is bigger then heading 3, heading 4, heading 5 and so on and heading 1 is even bigger than the heading 2, fine and the bottom text, this text which you see over here, this text is heading 4, okay so these two lines are heading 2 and this text is heading 4 I am telling you these things because you know you sh if you select just simple paragraph you just type in something then it won't show this big it will just it will be just simple small text okay so make sure whatever you type over here the first thing you should uh, select this and select heading 2 from here and the second thing you should select this and select heading 4 from here also if you'll see the text color over here is white here the text color is by default black so if you want to change the color of the text you can select everything and you can click on this button which says toolbar toggle when you click on this button we get some more options okay so here we have the text color when you select this you can you know add any different color for example if you want to make it green you can select green from here now you can see all the text is become green but we want to make it white so select this text color and select white from here now when we click on over here you can see everything disappears actually the text are there but they are all white so that's why we are not seeing them it's not a problem so these were all the general settings now if you go there is another option which which is called the advanced design setting you can set a set a max width you can change the font you can make it bold italic you know you can make it you know uppercase lowercase you can change the size of the text and so on now we don't want to do anything from here we'll see all these things later on First, we'll prepare the skeleton, all the things which are required. After that, we'll do all the designing thing, okay? So don't, just don't do anything over here. Just click on save and exit. Okay, so we have our text over here. Now, if you see, we have a background image uh, in the text, okay, in the first section. So let's add this image. As I said you earlier, you can get all the images for free. Just go to the link which is given in the video description below and you can get all the images for free so to add a background color just click on this gear icon which says setting okay the top gear icon this section gear icon select this gear icon now you'll see this background image click on upload an image click on se select files now if you see over here this is the file which you'll be downloading once you download the file from the uh, website from my website okay when you open this file there will be some folders over here now this is the home page folder when you open this you'll get many different images over here now let's see the image which we need so this is the one the name of this image is home top select this image click on open now click on set as background fine now when you see there are more settings at the bottom but we don't need to do any settings because these are for videos you, you can set a video in the background okay you can put in all these videos but we don't have any video so we'll just make everything uh, on we'll just keep everything off okay 
Now we have to set some paddings, but before setting them, let me first save and exit and update this file. Now first I want to show you what happens when you don't set any padding and after that we can see why we need to set the padding and how much we should be setting padding. Okay. Now what we can do, we can refresh this page. Now we can see we have the heading over here, the subheading over here. We also have the background image, but as you can see, there is no gap above and below this text. Like here we have some gap at the top, some gap at the bottom. Now this is what padding does. Okay. So when you add some padding, we'll get some space at the top and at the bottom. So let's do that. Again, select this section setting, this gear icon, click on this gear icon. Scroll down, you'll see at the bottom something called custom padding. Now at the top, let's add 220 pixels. Okay, so just type in 220 px for pixels. And in the bottom, we'll have 440 pixels, 440. Now click on save and exit. Again, update this file. We always have to update the file if you want the changes to take place. Now we can refresh this page to see the changes. Now as you can see, this looks much, much better. Okay, so we are done with this thing. And now this is not, this header is not backgroundless. It is not transparent. We'll see all those things later on. First, we'll create everything and then we'll see some these basic options, okay? Now after that, we have this call to action button. Let's add that. So come back to your dashboard again and now click on insert module and here you'll see something called button. Here it is. Click on button. Now here you have to put in the URL where you want to redirect your user. For example, if someone clicks on this button, where should the user go? So if you, if you want the user to redirect them to google.com, then you have to put in google.com over here. If you want the user to redirect to your contact us page, then you can copy your contact us page link from here. You can just right click over here, select copy link address, and you can just paste it over here. Now I don't do, I won't do anything like this over here. I'll just put in hashtag over here. When you don't want the user to go to any page or any other direction, you just have to put in this hashtag, okay? Now open in new tab or the same window. Now what should happen? Now when the user clicks on this button, should a new tab be open or he should be redirected in the same tab? So it's all up to you. You can select any option. Now the button text. For example, here if you see the button says learn more. So you can type in any text and that will display over here. So let's type in the same text, learn more. After that we have button alignment. The button is in the center. So we'll select center. Fine. Now we have some advanced settings. Now you can, when you select this and when you make this yes, you'll see many different options. Like you can increase or decrease the size of the button. You can change the button color, back, background color. You can set some border to the bo button. You can make the button more circular. Okay, it will, you can mo make it more circular by increasing the border radius. The more the radius, the more circular the button will be. Okay, you can change the font of the button and so on. But we haven't done all these settings in the demo website. It's just a simple button. So what I'll do, I'll just make this thing off. Okay, so we don't want any custom styles for button. We want the same style, the default style which the theme is using. Because I think the default style is really beautiful. We don't need any custom style for this. Once you're done with all the settings, just click, click on save and exit. Now again, update the file so that we can see all the changes. Now again, come back over here, refresh this page. Okay guys, so we have the button. So this is looking beautiful. We're just missing one simple thing. And that is the gap over here. As you can see, the gap between this line and this button is a nice gap. But here we don't have any gap between the button and the text. Now let's add that. Now there are many ways of doing that. Okay, for example, let me show you two of the most common ways. For example, you can select this button. You can click on this gear icon next to button. You can go to advanced settings. And when you scroll down, you'll see this padding. You can add some padding like we added in this section. We added some gap at the top and the bottom. So you can add some padding at the bottom like 30 pixels or 40 pixels and so on. 
this is the first and the most common way now there is another way what you can do you can add a module and you can select divider here it is divider okay and you can go to advanced settings and you can just add the margin top to 30 pixels okay so both the things will do the same thing okay so we can just add margin top 30 pixels click on save and exit now we have to bring the divider in between because we want the gap in between the text and the button so make the divider in between and click on update now again come back to this website and refresh it now we can see there is a nice amount of gap between the text and the button so this is how you do it there are two simple ways you can choose any way to do it okay so with this we have completed the first section the most important section the header section the top section of our website now let's see the second section now this is also a very beautiful section we have a nice header over here nice beautiful divider and this different icons and so on so let's do that let's start creating this one now we will not click on this insert module or insert row we'll just click on a standard section we want a new section so when we click on this button it will create a new section now you might be asking why not we can just click on this in install or insert module or insert row and we can do these things as well now that is possible you can click on the insert module or insert row and you can do the thing but the problem over here is we have given a background image to the section one so once you click on insert module or insert row then all these things whatever you're going to do now everything will have the same background image because we'll be adding all this thing in the same section okay so for that we create another section so we can have different background for example the first section has this background image but the second section doesn't have any background image or any background color so this is why we use sections i hope you guys are understanding if you're not understanding don't worry just follow the tutorial you can you will understand better more and more once you complete the tutorial okay so let's add a new section click on plus standard section now you have to select number of columns let's see again if you see over here first we'll have to add a single column okay for this thing this is just a single column so let's select this select single column okay so we have a section in that we have a single column okay in that we have to add this text this beautiful text so we can just copy this from here click on insert module and search for text this is the one select this now again orientation is center alignment is center and we can paste this text or we can just type in anything but make sure heading 3 is selected at the top okay so this size is heading 3 make sure that is selected and click on save and exit that will add this section now after that you will see that we have a beautiful divider this really you know beautifies this section or beautifies the website this is a small thing but this really has a great impact now you can easily add that so to, to add that what you have to do you have to check the same folder which I which you just downloaded from my website and in that folder you'll have a file called CSS this is the file CSS file just open that and there you will have two codes okay now as you can see this is the title you don't have to copy the title it says line after center and the second one is line after left okay so we have this divider in the center so what we'll do we'll select this code okay we'll copy this code which says line after center okay so we'll select this thing we'll copy it okay now we'll come over here we'll click on this gear icon next to the text then we'll go to custom css then we'll scroll down and we'll have this section which says after and after that we'll just click on over here and paste in this section now why we are doing this now because we want we want this divider after the text that's why we are pasting this code after the text okay here it says after and we are putting this thing over here now click on save and exit let's scroll up and update this for page now let's refresh our website and see the changes let's scroll down now as you can see we have this text over here and we also have this beautiful divider okay 
so we are going good but we don't have any you know padding at the top and bottom any gap at the top and bottom so we'll have to add that and we also have to add these three different columns so let's do that now we have to add a new row because we cannot add a new module because that module will be added in the single column but we want three different columns so we'll have to add a new row so click on this add new row and select three columns from here now we can add three different modules over here now select the first column and click on insert module and search for blurb this is the one blurb select this one now we have to give it a title now here the title is exemplary services so click on this copy this paste it over here now you can redirect this to any page or anything or any website you want you can just put in the url over here now we won't do this in this section we'll just leave it like this okay we don't want to link it to anything so we'll just leave this thing now do you want to use icon now here if you see we are using icon so let's make this yes now from here you can select any icon okay so what i'll do i won't waste my time searching for that icon i'll just select anyone for example let's select this heart icon let's come down now you can select this icon color by default this color is selected but if you want this color the yellow color if you want the exact same yellow color let me show you a very simple trick how you can get the exact same color you can go to my demo website and right click over here and you'll get some options select inspect okay now let me do one thing first let me change the orientation okay here it is i want this thing at the bottom fine this is looking be better now once you do so once you inspect the element here at the right hand side you'll see this element style and you'll see the color code you can also see the exact same color so what do you have to do you have to click on this it will select it and color, copy this color code come back over here select this section and paste in the color code over here fine so we have the color code okay now you can see we have the exact same color code now you can make this thing a uh, circle you can make the icon circle but we don't want to do that now we have to select the position for the icon or the image whatever you are inserting so we are inserting an icon and we want that at the top because in the demo website you can see we have the icon at the top so we'll select top now we can add some animation for example bottom to top left to right so let's select the uh, default one or maybe let's select left to right okay what we can do we can select this animation as left to right for this we can select right to left and for this one for the middle one we can select uh, top to bottom or bottom to top okay so that would look nice now text orientation will select center because in the demo website we have all the text oriented center fine now we can put in read more button but we don't we we won't do that okay because we haven't done that in the demo website now here you can put in the content so what i'll do is i'll just copy this simple text from here i'll paste it over here so we have the content and make sure everything is paragraph as you can see over here make sure it is not heading one heading two or anything it is simple paragraph fine okay so everything looks fine just click on save and exit now before adding any uh, further any modules first let's see whether this is happening right or not okay we don't want to do everything just we just don't want to keep doing everything and at the end we'll see that nothing has happened everything is just waste okay so that's why we save some settings and then we see what is happening now let's refresh this page okay so we have this beautiful icon over here and we have all the things over here okay so everything is going fine now here you can see that we need some things first as i said you earlier we need some padding at the top and bottom and we also need some gap between this divider and between this icon because as you can see there is just no gap between both of them okay so we can add this those as well now come back to this page now we don't have to create this same thing again and again okay now because it took around three four minutes for us to create this section but what we can do we can just click on this button it will clone the module it will copy or duplicate the module we can copy and duplicate it two times 
and we can just drag this thing to different columns. Now everything will be same, we will just have to change the icon and so on. Okay, so we don't have to do all the settings again and again. This really saves a lot of time. That is why I like, you know, using page builders. This really saves a lot of time. Now let's select the second one, click on this gear icon. Come back, I won't change any title or anything. You guys know it's really easy, you can change it. But let me change uh, this icon and color, okay, so that it looks better. Now let's select this camera icon and let's change the color. So again, you can use the same trick. Right click over here on this icon, click on inspect. It will give you the exact color code like here we have. Copy this color code, come back over here, select this and paste in this color code over here. Now you can see we have the same color. Now again it is stop and now you don't have to see all this uh, settings because we have copied it and all the settings will be same. Click on save and exit. Now select the third one. Okay, now let's copy this color, inspect element. Here it is the color code, copy this one, come back over here. Let's select some different icon now. Okay, now let's select this card icon. Let's change the color. Fine. Click on save and exit. Now let's add some padding at top and bottom. Okay. Like let's add some padding at top of this and bottom of this. So with that, we'll add the padding in this section. Okay. So select this gear icon of this section, scroll down, we don't have any background image so we can just leave this thing blank. Scroll down and let's select uh, top 90 pixels and bottom maybe 70 pixels, okay. Click on save and exit. We also need some gap between this divider and this icons. So let's add something. So what I can do, last time we added gap through divider and this time we'll add gap through padding so that we can know both the you know both the ways of doing it so what you can do you can select this section this row okay the row in which we have this text you can select this row scroll down we have this custom padding over here now we in the bottom padding you can add something like 40 pixels click on save and exit now let's update the changes and let's see what happens to our website. So come back to your website and click on refresh. Now as you can see this looks amazing. We have a nice amount of gap at the top and back bottom. We also have a good amount of space in between this, okay, in between this icon and this divider. And this is really really looking terrific. I really love this thing. Okay, as you can see this is really looking beautiful. So with this we have completed this second section as well. Now let's move on to the third section. And this is the third section. Let's start creating this. Now we are in the third section. If you notice, we don't have anything at the left hand side and we have all the text, everything at the right hand side. Okay. So let's see and let's do that. So click on standard section and first select two columns. Because as you can see, we have this column, this column is blank and we have some text in the right column. Okay. So we have two columns as you can see over here, column one, column two. We won't add anything in the column one, we'll add everything in the column two. So click on insert module. Now if you see over here, first thing we have is some text which says we believe. So just copy this text, in fact you can copy all this text from here you can just copy this text from here and from here select text module this time the orientation will be left so we don't have to do any changes over here and now paste in the text which you copied now if you notice something uh, when we select this thing we'll see that this is heading 2 and the bottom text is just simple paragraph so make sure the top one is heading 2 and the bottom one is paragraph and also the color of this text is white Okay, so you can select all this text, go to text color and select white color from here. Now click on save and exit. And after this text, we have this beautiful divider and this is left align divider. So again, you can open the CSS file and this time we can copy this code, the line after left code. 
So just copy the code from here, come back to your dashboard, click on this uh, gear icon, go to custom CSS. Now after this, because we want this divider after this text, okay? So select after this and paste in the code. Now one thing which we have to do over here is change the background color because the divider color is this color. Okay, as you can see this is the color, something green type color. But here the divider color is white. Okay, so the code for white is hashtag FFF. You can put F three times or six times, it will give you the same color. So I'm putting hashtag FFF and click on save and exit. And after this, we'll see that there is some gap over here, okay, between this divider and the bottom section. So let's add some gap. Okay, so what we can do, we can click on insert module, we can click on divider, go to advanced design setting, and at the top, we can add something like 40 pixels. Click on save and exit. So this will add some gap. After that, we have all these sections. At the left hand side, we have these beautiful icons, and at the right hand side, we have some text. So for this, we'll click on insert module and we'll select blurb. So this is blurb. Select blurb from here, give it a title. So this will be the title. Copy this, we embrace new opportunities together and paste it over here. Now again, I don't want to link this to any URL. So I'll just leave this blank and I do want to use icon. So I'll make this yes and you can select any icon. Now let me select this icon. The download icon okay now after this we have to change the icon color and this time the icon color is white so I'll select white from here okay as you can see the icon color is white now if you see the position okay the position is left the icon position this time is left so we'll select left you can select any animation text orientation is also left we don't have any content this time. We just have the title. We don't have any content, but we'll have to change the color of the title. So we can go to advanced design setting. Okay. Header font, header text color. Okay. So we have to change this because by default, the text colors are black and we have to make it white. So header text color, select this, click on select color and select white from here. Fine. Now click on save and exit. Now we don't have to uh, create it again and again. We have created one. Now we can copy it three times so that we can have four different things over here. So let's copy it three times. One, two, three. And we just have to click on this gear icon and change everything. Like for this title, we want this title. Okay. So instead of this, we'll paste it this one. We can change the icon. Now let's select the star icon. Click on save and exit. Now select the third blurb. Now select this thing from here. Okay, let's change the title. Let's change the icon. Click on save and exit. Now let's select the last one. Okay. Let's select this one. Let's copy and paste it over here. Okay, we have some gap, I guess. Let's delete this gap. Fine. Now let's change this to maybe this video icon click on save and exit now let's refresh and see now let's update actually and see what happens okay and come back to your website refresh it let's scroll down now we can see that you can see guys we don't see anything we have everything but we don't see anything the simple reason is because we have all the color all the icon all the text white and we have forgot to put this background color so this can be very dangerous as you can see now let's add this background color so that we can see the changes okay so this is the third section this section let's select this section setting upload an image as the background image click on upload files select files now this is the one home one select this click on open now click on set as background now we'll have to add some padding at top and bottom so that we'll have some nice amount of gap. So let's add 90 pixels both top and bottom. Fine. Click on save and exit. Now again, let's update and hopefully this time everything should be fine. 
let's refresh our page okay now this looks really really amazing okay so this is really looking nice now if you see over here there is almost no gap between this first and the second blurb but here we have a nice amount of gap if you like this gap between these blurbs it's all right but if you don't like you can just decrease it or totally remove it okay so what you can do is if you okay fine so we have bottom gap so you can come back over here you can select the first blurb okay you can scroll down i think we have some custom uh, gap coming on over here the default gap now go to advanced design settings scroll down okay fine if you don't see anything like this scroll down and you will see this custom padding in the bottom just put in maybe 5 pixels and let's see what happens okay it's just an experiment click on uh, select 5 pixels bottom and click on save and exit now let's update the file and let's see what changes take place so let's refresh okay so we see that no changes have taken place I think this is because there is no padding but margin so we'll have to decrease the margin okay let's try this as well let's see whether this works or not so again select this blurb click on this gear icon again go to advanced design settings scroll down and this time let's decrease the margin this is custom margin let's put 5 pixels custom margin at the bottom click on save and exit let's update let's refresh this page now as you can see the changes are taking place so that was not padding that was mar margin okay now we can decrease it further in, in instead of 5 you can make it 2 or in fact you can also make it 0 because it has some padding by default so it won't stick to each other even if you make it 0 but I think 5 is looking better so what I'll do I'll decrease the padding of all the blurbs now select the second blurb go to advanced design settings custom bottom margin let's put 5 pixels save and exit the third one advanced design settings custom margin bottom 5 pixels okay click on save and exit again click on update and let's refresh everything should be fine okay so we have a very beautiful section completed so this was our third section really really beautiful section again so we have successfully completed three different and beautiful sections now let's create the fourth section this is also very easy to create okay so again come back to this page scroll down click on add standard section now if you see over here again we have two different columns this is the first column this is the second column okay so select two different columns now in the first column the first module is simple text so we can just select this text from here copy it click on insert module from here select the text module okay and orientation is left which is fine and we can just paste it over here and you can notice that when I paste it over here it is heading 3 okay now let's check the color it's black so it's fine we don't have to do any changes but if you see we have this divider after this text so we can what we can do is we can copy this code line after left go to custom CSS go under after and paste this code now click on save and exit now if you see over here there is no gap actually uh, below the divider okay below the divider so let's add some gap below the divider so that we can separate this text and the divider so let's again select the same thing go to advanced design settings now let's add some padding bottom maybe 30 pixels would be fine select 30 pixels save and exit now again click on insert module and again select text because we have some simple text over here let's copy it from here okay left orientation fine let's paste it over here and everything over here is simple paragraph click on save and exit after that we have some button but again after this text we have some gap you can see there's some gap between the text and the button so let's add that 
click on this gear icon advanced design settings and let's add some bottom padding maybe 30 pixels again click on save and exit fine now click on insert module and let's search for button here it is now as you can see the button says read more now we can put in any URL I'm not putting any URL so I'll just put in this hashtag button text says read more so I'll just type in read more over here fine center okay fine the alignment is left which is fine click on save and exit now this also has a background color okay a background image so this is basically a background image this girl's image okay so let's add that click on this section settings click on upload an image upload files select files and select this home to image this one click on open now click on set as background okay so this is the one and let us also add some padding at top and bottom okay here as you can see we have some gap at the top and at the bottom so what I'll do I'll just add some padding at top maybe 70 pixels and I won't do any bottom padding maybe yeah I think I won't do any bottom padding because what I see over here is this image is ticked to the bottom okay so let's let's try let's see what happens click on save and exit so we have added only top uh, top padding we haven't added any bottom padding okay now let's update the file let's see what happens let's refresh this page let's scroll down okay so this is working but what we can do is you know we have well, this is fine you know the girls image is stick to the bottom but the problem is the this section is also stick to the bottom so what we can do is we can do uh, one thing and we it will solve both the problems now we can select this thing the column setting the row setting okay now we can select the row section and we can add some padding at the row okay this is not the section this is the row so let's add maybe let's add 60 pixels bottom padding this is the row not the section okay click on save and exit click on update come back over here let's refresh this page okay guys so this is fine we don't have the button touching the bottom but we have the uh, this image touching at the bottom and i think this is really really great okay you can add some more at the bottom I have added 60 you can add maybe 100 120 if you want some more gap fine now let's add this gallery okay we have six different images when we you know hover this image we get uh, this color and we also get this icon now there is one problem I see over here the color is very dark we just don't see the image we'll fix this because what we want is we want the color to be a little bit transparent so that we can also see some images okay some you know we can have a glimpse of the image let's let's see what happens how to do that okay now scroll down again click on standard section this time select three different columns because as you can see we have one two and three columns now click on insert module select image I guess yeah image now let let's put image URL click on upload an image now click on upload files select files and here you have gallery images gallery 1 gallery 2 so what I'll do I'll press ctrl and select all these six images at once and upload them all at once now as you can see the upload speed is really really fast and that is because we are using TMD hosting which is using SSD space and that is really really fast so we can select anything for example this is the first gallery image select this click on set as image fine and click on save and exit again select the second module select image upload an image now select the second one set as image save and exit now select the third module again image okay here it is now let's select the third image this one set as image click on save and exit now what we can do is we can copy this complete row you can just click on this and it will clone it it will duplicate it 
and we can just change the image so instead of this image we want this one save and exit now let's change this image as well let's upload it this one click on set this image save and exit and let's change the last one okay this is the gallery 6 click on set as image now there is one more thing that we need to do but before that let's update and see what happens okay we have to make it full width but let's see what happens if we don't make it full width let's refresh our page let's scroll down now as you can see over here when we don't do full width this is what happens we give, we see a lot of gap between the images and here we don't see any gap between the images and this looks terrific okay so we want to make it something like that so to do so come at this bottom this is the section which we are working with now select this row okay so this is the row settings select this row and just make this yes make this row full width click on save and exit now select the second one again make this row full width save and exit again let's update the file let's come back over here refresh and everything should be fine okay so it is much better but still we have some gap and this is because it is using the custom grid the default grid layout you know so the default grid layout has some padding left and right so we'll have to make that off too okay so again come back on this page go at the bottom select this uh, row setting again let's and this is the one i'm talking about the grid padding okay so we it has some default padding as i said you the gap so we have some default gap we just have to make this off save and exit same thing with the second row just make this thing off save and exit and i hope this time everything should be fine click on update now let's refresh this page okay so this is looking amazing now you might you guys might be thinking man when you know this is the problem why don't you just do once and why are you just coming back over here refreshing again going back now that is because i want you guys to understand what that setting does you know i could have just made made that grid setting off and i could have just had the perfect uh, you know result but what happens is you don't understand why did i made that off why did i made that on why am i changing the what is this padding what is all these things okay so that is what i am doing everything step by step so that you don't miss out anything and you understand each and every step okay and i hope you guys appreciate that so now the gallery is looking fine the images are looking fine now we have one more change now when we in the demo website when we see when we hover any one of the image we see an overlay the color and also an icon so let's do that again come back on this page let's select the first image click on this gear icon let's scroll down now here you'll see it says open in light box make it yes once you make it yes you may you get some more option this is the one which says image overlay make this yes or make it on as well now image now we'll, this the first option is overlay icon color now here as you can see the icon color is white so let's select this click on select color select white fine now hover overlay color now this is the color which we have to select now what you can do we can just click on inspect and you'll get this color over here just copy this color code from here cut this thing and select this color paste in this color over here okay but here i see that we are not getting that option okay there is there should be another option to you know decrease the transparency we are not getting on that option so even if you select this color it will not reduce the transparency so what you can do you can go to this section the css section i'll add one more code over here okay so this is the code and let me give it a title so that you understand this okay let us okay let us give color transparency or transparent color something like that fine and I'm, I'm saving this file so by the time you're watching this video and when you you know download the file you'll see this code as well so just copy this code from here and instead of this one let's paste in this code okay let's click on save and exit click on this gear icon again come back over here 
I can lower uh, color should be white fine and hover overlay color let's copy this copy and paste in this co color okay once you do so now you can see this transparency over here you can increase or decrease this thing okay if you want to make it completely transparent you can do so it's all up to you okay so we can make it something like this okay this would look fine okay after this we have to select the icon so let's select any one of the icon let's select this uh, pencil icon and okay everything looks fine rest everything is fine click on save and exit now let's refresh and see whether the changes have taken place so come back to this website let's refresh let's hover over it now as you can see when we hover this image we get this pencil icon and this is not complete uh, color and we get some transparency at the back so we can see the image at the back as well okay here that was not available we are just not seeing the image at the back but here we can see the image at the back because the color here is a little bit transparent okay so you can do the same thing for all the uh, other images okay we can do the same uh, thing for all the other images that will do the changes i'm not doing it i'm doing it only for one image because once you know how to do that you can do it for all the other images fine now let's see what we have after this so after this section we have another beautiful section now let's start building this let's start creating this one so again come back over here click on add new standard section and here the top one we have only one a simple section we have only one single column so what we'll do we'll select simple column one single column select this click on insert module and we have the text at the bottom at the top so select this text module the alignment should be center and paste in the code okay the first one is heading 3 the second one is paragraph so this is heading 3 this is paragraph and we also have this divider after the text so let's copy this text from here let's copy this code line after and it is line after center okay so copy this one line after center because this divider is in the center it is not at the left copy it go to custom css scroll down and after section paste this click on save and exit fine now after that we can add some gap between these icons and this divider so let's do that you can let's do through divider this time click on divider go to advanced design setting and at the top let's put in 40 pixels gap click on save and exit fine now after that we have this section now we have four different columns and this is number counter this is not blurb this is number counter when because when we come to this section when we scroll and come to this section the number starts counting you might have seen that in the demo website okay if you have not seen don't worry i'll show you again when i refresh this page so before that first what we have to do we'll have to add a new row because we have we want four different columns now select one by four one by four one by four now click on this insert module and let's add number counter let's search for there here it is number counter fine the title this is the title satisfied customers number the number here is 570 so let's type in 570 percentage sign we don't want the percentage sign so let's make this off counter text color the text color is black so it's fine it's black it's 000 which means black do you want to use icon yes we do so you make it yes and let's select the icon okay let's select anything let's select this one this star icon color this is the color you can change the icon color so this is the default color so we don't have to change it right now okay so everything is fine just click on save and exit now let's copy this okay let's drag it and let's put it in all the four different columns let's update the changes and let's see what happens let's come back over here and refresh this page okay so we have this section over here we just have to do some more changes we want to we have we want to have some padding top padding bottom and i think i will have to increase the size of this icon because this icon looks quite small here the icons are quite bigger okay so let's do both those changes 
scroll down first let's add some padding top and bottom so select this section scroll at the bottom padding top let's let's maybe add 90 pixels top and bottom maybe 70 pixels or you can add 90 pixels i'm just adding some ran random number click on save and exit now let me delete all these things because these are not proper let's click on this gear icon for the first counter and go to advanced design setting okay and here we should see let's see let's see what happened what we have okay the first one i guess it is the first one use icon font size okay and let's increase this to maybe 80 and click on save and exit now let's see how big icon do we have so come back over here again refresh okay let's see okay so this is looking much better 80 is looking much better and we have a nice amount of gap at the top and at the bottom now what we can do we can just copy this thing three four times and we can save and do some changes over here okay now let's see the second one is this now let's just copy the color so we apply the same simple trick just right click on that select inspect and we'll get all these color codes select this color code go to this section click on this gear icon okay now select some different icon let's select to this one and let's change the color to let's select this color to this one fine click on save and exit now let's select the third one let's see the color let's inspect this this is the color let's copy this okay come over here let's change the icon first let's put this tags icon or this books icon maybe and let's change this color to this one click on save and exit now the last one this is blue light blue so let's select select inspect copy this color from here click on this gear icon okay uh, now this time let's select something different let's select this flag okay we are selecting this flag select this color paste it now you don't have to inspect everything i'm just doing it because i want the exact same color now you can just suppose you want blue you can just select this blue you can drag around over here you can see the color changes you can you know make it more transparent if you want so it's all up to you i'm just selecting inspect because i just wanted the exact same color nothing else okay it's not compulsory that you have to do inspect you can just select any random color from here click on save and exit click on update and everything should be fine let's refresh let's see what happens okay fine so we have this beautiful icon so here the icons are quite bigger and uh, i think this was a bit smaller this is this size i think is the perfect size the 80 pixels icon size is perfect you should also remember to change this number and the title you can do it easily that's really simple so with this we have completed this section as well now let's see the second next section and let's see how many sections are left for the home page this is one two three four five six sections are left a lot of sections because i wanted to make this video a really big video you know i i just wanted to cover everything so after watching this video you just don't need to watch any other video it's everything is covered over here now let's add this section and if you see if you notice one thing every time we are using some really different things over here we have used blurbs we have used different uh, uh, numbers number counter we have used this gallery section and so on so every time we are using some different thing now let's say cre create this section okay so come back over here scroll down and click on add standard section for the first we have only single uh, column a single column because we have simple text and after that we'll have three different columns so first single column select single column from here click on insert module we have some simple text over here orientation is center let's paste this now again the top one is heading three and the bottom was one is simple paragraph and after that if you see we have this divider in the center so let's copy this code 
this is the divider in the center okay copy this code come back over here go to custom css go in the after section and paste in this code click on save and exit but yeah one more thing is left this color should be white okay so what you have to do you have to change this background color instead of this color we'll put in hashtag fff okay click on save and exit after that we have this thing in fact after that we have some gap between the divider and these icons so let's add some gap we can add through divider as well so let's add through divider let's add 40 pixels fine so we have some gap now let's add this thing these are three different columns and these are blurbs okay these are simple blurbs so click on insert no not click on insert module we want a totally different row so click on add row three columns insert module and select blurb find the title over here is create your business plan now we'll have to change the color of the title over here first let's put the title we don't want any urls we want to use icon yes and these are icons if you see this is actually an icon okay number one icon now let's say uh, search for that one okay let's see let's see mm, there are so many different icons it's good okay number one we just want simple numbers okay here it is number one two three four it won't have the circle okay it won't have this circle we'll have to add those circles okay just select this number icon color you can see the icon color is this so it is automatically selected we don't have to do that now circle icon yes we want to circle icon circle color we have to make it transparent so you'll have two different this is the first this is the second one drag the second one at the bottom this will make it transparent as you can see the color of the circle is transparent now we want border and this is the border color okay because as you can see the circle border we have a circle border with the same color so this is fine now what you can do you can just copy this color because we'll need this color to add it to this you know text color after that everything is fine text orientation is left which is fine and after that we also have some text over here so let's copy this thing from here let's paste it over here and again what I'm suggesting you is just copy this co color go to advanced design setting and after that we have heading header text color and paste that color over here because we want the same color as the header click on save and exit okay and do we have yes we have a background color background image in fact let's add that so select this section settings select the background image upload the image select files select home 3 from here and click on open now click on set as background and let's add some padding or the gap at top and bottom let's add 80 pixels and bottom again 80 pixels it's I'm just entering some random number okay guys you can also add these numbers if you think it is a small gap you can increase the gap or increase the number if you think the gap is more you can decrease the number fine we have refreshed the page and this is how it looks okay so this is looking terrible uh, we have to do some things first we'll have to change the color of all these things to white then we'll have to play around with this now let's start doing that okay okay go at the bottom this is the one first let's change the text color to white okay let's select everything let's change the text color to white click on save and exit so okay so this problem is solved now let's decrease the size of this icon so that we can fit everything in one single line so what we'll do we'll select this blurb we'll go to advanced design settings and use icon font size and let's decrease this to maybe 50 or maybe 60 let's see whether 60 works or not we also have to do one thing as you can see this text is white and here it is you know kind of gray color so let's make this white 
go to general settings go at the bottom okay so this is the text select everything go to text color make it white click on save and exit let's update and see the changes click on update come over here refresh your page okay so this is looking fine but this thing is not changing okay let's see what's wrong with this come at the bottom again click on blurb advanced settings we have changed the size okay I think we have to change the circle size as well so this is 60 so let's make this thing maybe 75 okay okay 74 75 whatever it will do save and exit click on update again let's refresh and hopefully the changes should take place okay this okay fine so this is a uh, smaller from earlier but i don't know why it is not on the same line okay so it is because the over here the icon is quite smaller we have decreased the size but still it is quite bigger okay so we'll have to decrease it more Be just because we want everything in one single line okay and here we don't have we have different lines for different things so let's do that click on blurb again and let's go to advanced design settings and let's make this maybe 30 okay fine 30 let's make it 40 Hopefully this time everything should be fine. Click on save and exit. Okay, let's click on update. Let's refresh this page. Oh my God, so we have decreased. Okay, so we have decreased this size, but still I think that is not the problem. There's some other problem going on. Let me try to fix that again come back over here let's see what's going wrong over here use icon icon color circle icon oh my goodness this is the problem image icon placement it should be left not top okay let's let's increase the size because this is looking quite smaller let's increase a bit let's make it something like this let's make it 45 let's make it 60 click on save and exit let's update let's refresh this page and hopefully this time everything should be fine okay yep it is okay so this is working now what you can do is you can just copy these things twice and you can just drag it over here so we don't have to create it again you just have to change the number this is one i forgot to change the number in the demo website as well just make it one two three and change the title and everything as well from here okay so we are done with this as well now the next section is this beautiful section this is the testimonial section now let's add this this is also very simple doing this is very simple as well okay so click on this standard section and we have a simple and a single column at the top so select single column click on insert module and select this text module the alignment should be center let's paste in the code and it's black which is fine okay the top one is heading 3 the bottom one is paragraph and uh, fine we just have to add this one the divider after this so we'll go to custom CSS we'll copy this thing from your line after center code come back over here and go under after setting and paste in this code click on save and exit fine this will give us this divider now let's add some padding at the top padding at the bottom and also let's add some gap below this thing below this divider okay so first let's add some gap below the divider click on insert module click on divider go to advanced design settings and top let's select 40 pixels save and exit now click on this gear icon for the section setting and uh, scroll down okay top let's make it to uh, 70 pixels bottom 70 pixels as well you can increase or decrease these numbers 
click on save and exit fine now let's add this testimonials in fact we'll have to create some testimonials first only after that we can add these testimonials so before that let's first update the page let's see the changes and after that let's create the testimonials first let's see how it looks how the website is looking at present okay so we have this section and this is looking fine now it's time to create some testimonials so at the left hand side you'll see some options like team services testimonials so how about testimonials and click on add new you don't have to add category because we can add it from here okay now you'll see some author name so this is the author's name linda martins just add this name and this is the testimony just copy this paste it over here after that you can put in the email address now we are not showing the email address over here it's all up to you you can put in the email address like just put in mail at gmail.com after that we have the url so let me put httpa example.com fine position let's make it let's make him manager company name acme india limited I don't know whether it's a company or something author avatar you have to select the profile pic so select this upload files select files and you have this person one person two person three select this person one click on open click on set avatar fine and we have to add a category so click on add new category and let's just type in testimonials you can just type in any category name after that just click on publish and similarly we can create n number of testimonials but i won't do that because we'll just uh, add the same testimonial three times as you can see over here it's same testimonials three times but you can create different testimonials and show up different testimonials over here okay so once after doing so again we have to go to the page settings so that we can add these testimonials on our home page so click on pages Click on this edit page under home page. Okay, so this is where we were doing all our work. Go at the bottom. Fine. So we are done till here. Now let's click on add row. We have three testimonial sections. So let's select three columns. Click on insert module. Now here you'll see something called testimonials. Search for that. Here it is testimonial uh, section, author name and so on. It's all up to you. For example, just put in my name. Okay, job title manager. Company, let me put blog dude. Date, you can just put in any name. Author or company URL. Okay, let me put in my website's URL over here. Blogdude.com fine opens in same tab i'll select new tab image url i am not putting my url my image i'm just putting this beautiful girl's image select this image click on set as image quote icon if you make this yes you will have this quote icon okay this is the quote icon then it will show or you can just select some other icons from here let, let me select the same icon let's for, search for that it should be at the top i guess no let's let's see mm -hmm, mm -hmm. here it is select this use background color no we don't want to use any background color text orientation center because here everything is center aligned content let's put this thing fine go to advanced design settings okay quote icon color let's select this color okay okay fine i'm not getting this color again let's try again let's inspect this okay okay fine let's search over here do we have it okay we don't have that color over here right okay here it is this is the block quote color select this 
paste it over here click on save and exit i think i am doing some mistake but let's see let's update let's refresh this page okay here it is we have this uh, girl's image we have this icon we have this thing the name the manager the company name and everything okay now we can add some more thing over here now let's come back to this section first click on this gear icon so we can add some border over here because if you see in this website the demo website we have this border you can see this border for over here we can add that for just come back over here scroll down and just make this thing yes use border and you can select some color like you know light gray color something like this or you can just select any dark color i'm just selecting light gray color this is looking nice click on save and exit let's see whether that happens or not whether the changes take place click on update refresh this page okay we see some border but we'll have to add some padding from all the sides so that you know it looks better so let's do that come back over here click on this here icon advanced design settings go at the bottom here you have padding now let's add padding from all the sides maybe i think 30 pixels should be fine let's add 30 pixels from all the sides okay click on save and exit click on update let's refresh and hopefully everything should be fine okay now it is looking much better we have this uh, thing over here we have nice amount of gap from all the sides that is 30 pixels and we have this beautiful section over here okay now let's copy this thing twice so that you don't have this missing columns over here let's copy it fine and after that we have this section this is the frequently asked section so let's do create this and if you see one thing the background color there's some difference the background color for, the, for this one is simple white but here we have some you know light gray background color so let's see how to do that first just create click on this simple button add standard section first okay we have just one simple column over here so just click on one column click on insert module and search for accordions the first one accordion now click on add new item now this is the title how do you know when you have reached this critical business planning whatever okay and you can have this this will be the content okay fine now we have added one now similarly you can add n number of accordions over here now go to advanced design settings we'll have to do some changes over here open toggle background color so this is the open toggle we have the same color over here this green type color over here you can see this plus and uh, minus so you can change the color open toggle text color which is fine the text color everything is fine we just have to do one change over here closed toggle background color open toggle background color where is it text color background color okay here the first one was open tog toggle background color we have to change this just put in hashtag f8 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 okay and copy this thing and we want the same thing for closed background color as well click on save and exit just let me recheck whether i have done everything properly open toggle background color closed toggle background color fine click on save and exit now we'll have to add some gap at the top and bottom and we'll also have to change the complete section background color to the same color okay let me show you click on this section settings now just make this no transparent background color make this no and paste in the same color f8 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 okay and let's add some gap some padding at top and bottom let's add 70 pixels top 70 pixels bottom click on save and exit let's update and let's see the changes hopefully everything should be fine let's refresh the page 
Okay, so we have our testimonials over here and we also have this section. This is looking fine. This is in fact looking really amazing. Okay, this, this can be your frequently asked question section. Okay, now let's see, we have two more sections left. The first section that we have to do is this our partner section. So again, come back over here. Let's scroll down to the bottom, click on add new standard section. As you can see, we have only one uh, column at the top, our partners. So let's click on this single column. Click on insert module, select the text module. It is center aligned. Just paste in this our partner or not this one. We just have to paste in our partners from here. And this is heading three, fine. Now after this, we have to add this after thing, this divider. So select this line after center, copy this code, come over here, go to custom CSS, go under after settings, paste it, click on save and exit. Okay. Now after that, we'll have to add some gap uh, over here. And after that, we can have this thing, the banners. So first click on insert module, divider, advanced design settings, click, uh, let's, let's put 60 pixels click on save and exit now again click on insert module and you can select this brands showcase now we can add this in the same section because it is just one single column it is using different brands so click on add new brand upload the image click on upload image you will see all the images in that file these are all the images brand image one two carousel one two select the first one or second one any one you want click on set this image okay and click on save now what i'll do is i'll just paste it five times so i have five one two three four five go to advanced design settings and you have four columns make it five click on save and exit let's add some padding at top and bottom Okay, so click on this section settings, scroll down. Let's add maybe 70 pixels top and bottom. Click on save and exit. Let's update this page. Let's refresh. Let's scroll down. Okay, as you can see, this is looking better. I have used the same icon again and again. You should change the icon obviously now let's see the last section this is the section we have a contact form and we have this guy at the left hand side this is actually a background image again in fact this is not the last section we have we still have one thing over here okay so let's do that go at the bottom click on add new standard section and uh, Let's let's say, now let me show you another way of doing it. You know, now we have been doing in just saying two columns and we have two columns. But here, if you see this thing is more than one column. Okay, the center may be something somewhere over here, but this thing is exceeding the center. Now, let me show you how you can do this. So don't select two columns, select one single column. Now select insert module and select contact, contact form. Here it is. Select this contact form module. Now we have name, email, message. Okay. Now we'll have to do some changes over here. We do have name, email and message, but we'll have to do some changes. Click on this gear icon. Now remove this title. Okay. Because we don't want to show the title and add some placeholder. Now, if you see inside this box, it is written name. So that is what a placeholder is. So you can just type in or something like enter your name fine now type in full input now do you want to make it required show field label yes with make it full width as you can see it is full width okay if you just select one fourth it will be very small so make it full width click on save same for email delete this title and enter a placeholder like enter your email something like this okay again email field type should be email field it is a required field show label field should be 100 100 percent which is full width click on save now the last one is message delete the title 
and in the placeholder just type in okay enter your message fine text area required field show label and this also will be full width click on save display captcha we don't want to display captcha email you have to put in your email address where you want to get all this information whenever someone fills in this form and submits it where which is the email on which you want this message so you have to put in that email title and message pattern okay everything is fine rest everything is fine just click on save and exit now i also saw one thing that we also have this text over here we have this text and after that we have this thing so let's add that let's click on add new module let's select text left align yes let's add this paste it let's change the color to white and after this we have the divider as you can see so let's add the divider line after center or maybe line after left okay so select this one this time this is left align go to custom css and under the after thing save it or paste it and click on save and exit now after this we have some gap after this divider so let's add that first make the uh, text at the top go to this gear icon advanced setting bottom padding let's add 30 pixels click on save and exit now we'll have to add this background background image and some padding top and padding bottom so let's do that select this section setting background image click on upload an image upload files select files and this is home for select this image home for click on open okay set as background and go at the bottom and let's add padding maybe 80 pixels top and bottom fine click on save and exit let's go at the top let's update and refresh the page everything should be fine hopefully okay it is loading okay everything is fine i just forgot to do one thing very important thing so what we want we want to you know get this thing over here now the same thing we have been doing you know when we want to get this section down we add some top uh, padding when we want to get this section up we want some you know we add some bottom padding now similarly when we when we want to add this section over here at the at the right hand side we'll have to add some gap in the left hand side okay so let's see what how to do that go at the bottom okay the contact section this is the one select this row setting okay go at the bottom and you have this custom padding and we have left so under left just type in 40 percent click on save and exit hopefully this should work click on update let's refresh this page okay so this is working this is really looking awesome so we have left 40 percent space from the left hand side and we have shifted this to the right hand side and this is looking amazing now let's see the last section of this page this is a very simple section we just have some simple text and we have a color in the background okay so let's add this again come at the bottom click on add new standard section okay single column enter or insert a new module text module paste in this code and we want to change the color of this number as you can see the color of the number over here is yellow so what we'll select this portion only the number select the text color and let's make it yellow click on save and exit now select this section settings and let's select let's deselect this transparent background color let's see which color is this let's inspect the element to get the color here it is this is the color copy this color code from here and let's paste it over here as you can see now let's add some gap at the top and bottom maybe 60 pixels should be fine 60 pixels top and bottom click on save and exit now click on update 
Now let's refresh this page and everything should be fine hopefully. Okay, so this is looking good but the only thing that we left or we missed is this thing that we have to make it center align. Okay, so let's do that. Let's come at the bottom, click on this gear icon, make it center align, save and let's refresh, update and let's refresh this page. Okay, so this is looking amazing. Now let's see at the top. Okay, so we'll see all these changes later on, the header and all this thing. So we have successfully created the home page. And if you see this section, this is a common section wherever you are, whichever page you're on, you'll see these sections throughout the website. Okay, so we'll see how to do that. But now I'm a bit tired. I think this is it for today. Don't worry, you guys can see the complete video but now I need some rest and maybe tomorrow I'll record this video but you will see the continuation don't worry okay guys so see you guys soon okay welcome back guys uh, we have successfully completed the home page now it's time to start creating our about us page so let's first see how our about us page looks like so when we hover these pages we get different options now let's see the about us page let's click on about us Okay, so this is how our about us page looks like. We have already seen how it looks like in the demo section. So this is what we have to create. It's really, really beautiful and really professional page. So let's start doing that. So to do so, first come back to your dashboard. At the left hand side, you will see pages, how our pages and click on add new. Now you can name it anything. So I'll name it about us. Fine. And just click on publish. Fine, now to start creating the website, to start designing the website, we have to enable the Power Builder. So just click on this button which says Use Power Builder. Okay, so we have our Power Builder like we had for home page. So let's see what do we have first. So first we have this beautiful section at the top. Okay, we have a background image, full width background image. We have some title, subtitle and after that we have this divider, beautiful divider, okay. So let's copy this text, come back over here, click on insert columns, we'll just add one single column and in that we'll add the text module and the alignment should be center and we are pasting the code. Okay, so if you could see the about is heading 2 and the text below that is heading 6. Okay, so this is heading 2 and this one is heading 6. Fine. And after that, we need to go to custom CSS to add this divider after the text. So come to the after section, go to the CSS file and copy this center one center code and paste it over here. Now if you see over here, okay, fine. The color is same. So we don't have to change the color or else if it was white, we just had to change it. But no, we don't have to do it uh, anything. Okay, just save and exit. So we have this thing over here. Now in the background, we have this image and we have nice amount of gap at the top and bottom. So let's add that. So click on this gear icon, uh, the section gear icon. Upload a background image. Click on upload image, select files. And let's see. Okay, for this we'll have another folder. If you go to the main folder, now you have another folder about us. Open that. And here we have the top one. This is the top about two. Okay. I guess this is the one. Let's see. Uh, this is the one. Just select this image. Click on open. Okay. This is the image that we are using. I think no, no. This is not the image. Again, we'll have to upload. Select files. Uh, this, the, this is the one about top. Okay. The name of this image is or the name of this file is about top. Select that one, click on open. Now click on set as background. So we have the image in the background. Now we need some gap at top and bottom like always. So let's add uh, maybe, I guess uh, 350 pixels at both top and bottom. Let's see. Click on save and exit. Click on update. Now let's open this page in a new tab. 
so let's so that we can see what changes have taken place okay so this is how it is looking we don't need this thing okay this is a breadcrumb we don't need this and uh, we can just cut this page now so first thing what we have to do is remove this breadcrumb and i think the space is fine and we can have the space and we'll have to change this color of the text so let's do that so first to remove the back, uh, breadcrumb come at the bottom you'll see something called page settings we have layout options header style header element then we have breadcrumb go to breadcrumb and just disable it okay after that we'll have to make the text white so click on this gear icon text gear icon select all the text select text color white click on save and exit update the file come back to this page refresh and everything should be fine let's see okay so we we don't have the breadcrumb the breadcrumb is gone but i think the color has not changed and i think uh, we need to remove some space at the top let's make it 300 okay let's see why the color has not changed okay i think i selected the wrong color select it again and select white fine now it is changed click on save and exit click on this gear icon section gear icon go at the bottom and let's make it uh, maybe 300 pixels okay so 300 top and bottom click on save and exit update come back to this page refresh and everything should be fine okay now it is looking much better so we have our first section the top section okay this one now it's time to create this section okay we have some something uh, about us for example full cycle seo and this and that so we have at the left hand side we have this beautiful icon okay and at the right hand side we have some title and something written about that so let's start doing this so come back to this page again click on add standard section now this time we need two columns so select one by two insert module and this is a blurb so select this one blurb title this is the title full cycle seo we don't want any url so and we want to use icon so we'll make it yes now we can select anyone now if you see this is very simple icons used over here so if you go at the bottom you'll see these are the icons very simple one okay these are the icons which are used and here is the flag icon which is used over here okay the flag icon this is the one which is used so we want this icon and we have to change the icon color if you can see over oh, here the icon color is white and the background color is the default color which we are using in the website so first let's copy this color and let's make it white first okay so the icon color is now white image placement should be left as you can see this is at the left the icon is at the left fine then after that we'll have to copy this text from here this will come under content click on save and exit okay i think i forgot we forgot to make this thing circle and change the color so click on this gear icon again scroll down okay this is the one make this yes circle icon and circle color let's see the color let's inspect element you can see this is the color 2cc895 copy this from here select this and paste this color over here as you can see over here now we can also see one option over here but we'll see that later okay what is the size of the circle and font size if this circle is smaller we can make it bigger and so on first let's click on save and exit let's copy this let let's uh, bring it over here and let's copy this whole row because we need two rows okay so first row we have two options and second row we have two options like we have over here okay two options two options now let's update okay let's first add some padding at top and bottom so that you don't have to do again so let's go to this section setting scroll down here it is custom padding let's make it uh, 80 pixels top and bottom 
fine click on save and exit let's update the page let's come back over here I'll refresh and everything should be fine hopefully okay let's see okay so this is looking amazing okay so you can change the icon I've just copied this first thing I have pasted it over here three times but what you can do is you can just go over here click on the gear icon change the icon and change the color if you want I would not recommend you to change the color make all the thing for all the four things should be the same color that looks nice so this section is also done and let's come back over here now this is a really cool section we have a parallax image in the background and then we have this number counter so let's do that so again come back to this page click on add new standard section and this time we have uh, okay we'll we'll just add one okay i will have to add four columns okay let's add one by four columns then in the first we'll click on insert module we'll go to number counter here it is number counter title is projects completed okay so 999 projects completed so we'll put it over here we'll put the number over here 999 we don't want the percentage sign so we'll just make this off counter text color here the counter text color is white so let's make it white select this click on white color then do you want to use icon here we haven't used icon so we'll just make it no okay fine and go to advanced design settings and here we have title text color which we have changed I guess but again you can change it from here we can just make it white because this is our title okay after that uh, let's see number text color so this is what we have to change let's uh, see this color let's inspect this element okay here it is 2cc895 I think I should remember this I don't have to inspect sure so that I don't have to inspect it again and again let's paste it over here click on save and exit okay let's copy this thing four times okay fine now we have a background image and it is a parallax effect okay so let's do that let's click on this gear icon let's upload an image upload files I think this file we have uploaded okay this is the one select this click on set as background now scroll down and make this thing yes okay use parallax effect and top and bottom let's make it 150 pixels click on save and exit click on update let's come back to our website let's refresh and everything should be fine let's scroll down okay so this is looking awesome we have our projects over here we have the parallax effect going on let's increase the size of this one okay I think the numbers are very small and here the numbers are quite bigger so let's do that so come back to this page scroll down we have this number counter over here click on this gear icon go to advanced design setting and uh, let's search over here number font size it is 72 let's make it uh, 90 or let's make it uh, okay 90 should be fine I guess 90 95 let's click on save and exit let's see what happens first click on update refresh this page okay so this is much better this is looking much better okay this is I think is really looking good this is also the same size so we are done with this section as well now let's see the last I guess okay the second last section this is our member section or executive manager section okay so let's start creating this come back to your page again and here before doing that first we'll have to create a team or we'll have to create some team members so to do so at the left hand side you will see something called teams how our team and click on add new fine now we can add the name of the person and everything for example here we have Alisa Hansolo just copy this name from here about this person just copy this paste it over here team group we can just create any group and we can assign everyone like we can just create group one 
click on add new group then after that we have person option position location phone number for example here we have manager so let's make her manager location let's type in mumbai or anything or you can just and you can also type in the phone number then we have a social profile you can add some social profile like you can choose icon you can choose facebook and in the label just type it facebook and url you can type in the url over here okay so i will not do that you can do it easily you can add some skills over here then featured image let's click on featured image upload files select files and let's select this one click on open set featured image okay everything looks fine just click on publish so this was our first person okay now similarly you can create a number of persons okay now i won't do that i'll again go to pages i'll use the same image again okay and then under about us just click on edit now scroll down and let's add this section now okay so first what we'll do we'll click on standard section first click on this single column insert module and let's add this text module because we have this executive managers written over here let's make it center align executive managers and after that we have this center divider so i'll just copy this css i'll paste it in the after section click on save and exit okay and after that we can add a new module and we can search for team here it is team oh okay, guys i just want to inform you that the team or oh, when i clicked on that insert module and team it took a lot of time and still it is loading it is not showing up over here so what i decided is i decided to show you in the demo website which i created maybe there is something wrong with the server or maybe something is wrong okay fine so i decided to show you on the demo website how it looks so this is the demo website in the demo website when you click on this when you insert the team module this is the options you'll get number of columns number of columns to show on a laptop number of columns to show on a tablet on a phone okay now which group to include so we have added the group one so you can include this group okay post count how many posts do you want to show so as you can see over here there are six posts showing so we have six posts you can add some title subtitle okay featured image size now this is them a lot of sizes available now this is this one is monstroid 2 author avatar 512 by 512 the size of this image okay so this is the size of the image selected now you want to show the name show the photo show the description and the description length is 30 okay if you increase the description length it will in this thing will increase if you decrease it you can just make it two lines by just decreasing it to maybe 10 or 12 show position yes show profile links yes now layout this is the default layout there are more layouts available you can see over here we have used the default layout use cutter between columns now as you can see there is some gap uh, between the columns so yes we want some gap if you just make it make this no there won't be any gap between different columns okay okay fine so this is all the settings that we have over here i don't know why it is not showing up at present but when i created the demo website everything was uh, working fine so i'll just leave this thing over here let's see what we have next after that we have this section the testimonial section now we will have to add the testimonial so just click on add new standard section two columns insert module go at the bottom and select testimonial now the author name you can just type in anything so let's type this person's name okay job title okay ceo at agme india limited so i'll just type in ceo company name acme india limited date you can put a date company's name url you can put in this as well quote icon we have the quote icon over here so we'll make this on 
okay you'll you have to select the quote icon from here this is the one use background color no we don't want to use any background color so just we'll just make it no text orientation is left which is fine and let's add this thing now okay let's add this and uh, everything is fine okay you can change the code icon color i'm not doing this because we have did a similar thing in the home page so you can you know how to do all these things okay click on save and exit copy this bring it over here let's add some padding at top and bottom okay so let's uh, and let's also change the color as you can see the background color is a light gray color so let's make it light gray as well come at the bottom let's add some space like 80 pixels at top and bottom padding let's add some color so first we'll have to make this thing off transparent background color and we'll have to add some color so let's add this color very light gray color click on save and exit let's add some space at the top as well in this team section let's add 80 pixels over here 80 pixels top and bottom padding click on save and exit let's update the file come back over here refresh the page okay so this is our team section it is not showing anything uh, because we you know the team section was not working for us now this is working but i think we forgot to put in the author avatar i don't know why i always forgot something so come back over here click on this gear icon and let's see what we forgot okay we forgot this thing portrait image url select this thing select any image so we can just click on upload files and let's select an image let's select this one click on open set image save and exit let's delete this thing copy it again paste it over here update the file come back over here and refresh it okay so now it is working fine and everything is looking awesome now we with this we have completed the about us page okay now it's time to create the services page now let's see how it looks click on services at the top okay so this is how our services page is looking very simple and elegant page so let's start creating this page come back at this uh, at your dashboard click on add new now click on add new page and you can just type in any title like services click on use power builder and the first section is almost the same section really simple so click on insert columns single column insert module this is simple text okay so this time we have some text then we have a divider then we have some different text okay so first let's add this text this is heading one by the way okay so this is the um, biggest text available heading one so make sure you select heading one and change the color of this text to white and after that we have this divider so go to custom CSS scroll at the bottom copy this code from here paste it over here click on save and exit and after that we have some more text so copy it from here come back over here click on insert new module text module select this text center align paste it over here and this is simple paragraph okay click on save and exit now let's add a uh, image in the background okay so click on upload an image upload files select files now here you'll see one more folder services open that this is service top we have to use this one click on open now click on set as background and let's add some space at top and bottom so let's add 280 pixels both top and bottom and click on save and exit okay i think i forgot to change yes i forgot to change the color of this one change the color of this one to white as well click on save and exit 
publish this page now open this page in a new tab and we can cancel this about us page because we have completed this now this is our services page it is really looking nice the first section is complete and again we have to remove this breadcrumbs so come back over here in the breadcrumb section just make it disabled now let's see what is the next section what we have in the next section now here we have two different columns at the right hand side we have a simple image at the left hand side we have title divider and some text so let's add that come back over here click on add new standard section two columns okay text simple text copy it from here search for text module left alignment fine paste it click on save and exit and after that we have this divider so again we'll have to add that code click on this gear icon go to custom css copy this code from here go to after paste it over here click on save and exit and after that if you see we have some gap over here so let's add some gap click on insert module click on divider let's search over here advanced design settings top will add 40 pixels click on save and exit and after that we have some really simple text so just copy it from here come back over here click on insert module select the text module left align which is fine just paste it over here click on save and exit again after that we have some we have some space and a button so we can just copy this divider from here and drag it over here and after that we can click on insert module and insert the button module now button url you can specify the url of the button button text it says read more so just type in read more fine left align which is fine everything is fine just click on save and exit now with the right hand side we have a simple image so we'll say we'll search for this image module upload an image and let's use any one of the image let's see whether we have that image over here click on this and this is the image i guess select this one click on open fine now click on save and exit now here if you see we have some space at top and bottom let's add that so select this section uh, setting go at the bottom let's add 70 pixels top and bottom click on save and exit fine and i also noticed that the background color is light gray it is not white you can compare between these two columns the bottom color has white background color but this one is uh, you know light gray background color so let's do that click on this section setting make this thing off which is transparent background color and select a background color let's select a very light one fine click on save and exit click on update and come back over here refresh this page so the breadcrumb is gone we have this about section and after that we have this beautiful section over here okay this is in the middle you, you just have to copy this left code and instead of this you have to paste the left code okay now instead of creating this thing again what we can do is we can just copy the whole section fine okay so we have the complete section we can change the background color so you can just make this thing on transparent background color click on save and exit now we want the image at the left hand side and all these things at the right hand side okay all this button and everything at the right hand side and we can just click on this update button come back to this page and refresh it we can see now everything looks awesome so we don't have to do a one thing you know again and again we just have to create it once and after that our you know job and our work becomes very easy we just have to copy and paste it over here now you, you can easily change the image and everything from here from the back end you know how to do that fine so with this we have also completed this services page now let's see the about team or our team page click on our team 
fine so this is the page again we have a top section we have this simple text and a divider just copy this from here let's copy it everything come back over here click on add new page okay so our, this is our team page okay type in our team click on use power builder insert columns single column insert module and this is simple text module okay the alignment will be center this will be the text and this is heading one as you can see the size of this text is quite bigger this is because it is heading one and it is white color so you can select the text color white and in the custom CSS we have this thing over here okay the center divider so we can just copy this thing and paste it in the after section you can change the color of this divider if you want to white okay because it would look uh, nice the white text and white divider and after that click on this section settings add a background image okay let's upload a file select files let's see whether we have that image over here I don't think so let's see let's see I think we don't have that image I have not copied that image I guess but don't worry by the time okay I think this is the one let's open it let's see yeah this is the one click on set as background now let's add some space at top and bottom so let's make it 250 pixels both top and bottom click on save and exit let's click on publish let's cut this thing let's open it in a new tab okay so our top section is looking awesome and as I said you this divider is looking much better than that color divider okay now after that we have the team section okay this is the same section the exact same section which we used in about us okay so this is the same exact section so we don't have to create this thing again if you want you can see this this is, look at this section it says executive manager we have six people over here now you can go to about about us and let's see the same section over here okay here also we have executive manager six people now what you can do is you can go to about section for example and you can go to that section suppose this is that section you can click on this uh, gear icon which says setting and click on this button now instead of save and exit you can click on this button which says save and add to library and you can give it any any name like you can give it uh, team okay you can give it the name of team click on save and add to library then you can come on this page the R team page and instead of adding or clicking on this button add standard section you can click on this button which says add from library and you can select this thing okay and I will have that page over here so you can do this easily fine we don't need to do that we can just click on this update button so with this we have also completed the R team page now let's see the next page is facts page frequently asked questions page fine so this is also a very very simple page we just have this simple thing over here nothing else so let's add that first click on this add new page and let's add the facts page click on use power builder insert columns single column insert module and go at the bottom and select this toggle module okay and in the title put in this title consistency is the key or whatever title you want now the first one the state should be open now what this means is whenever you come to this page you'll see this first question or the first toggle is already opened and all the rest is closed now you want to if you want to open this one you'll have to click on this button to open it okay so by default the first one is open and all the rest are closed so that's why we are selecting the first one we'll select open and then we can copy this text from here just paste it over here fine click on save and exit and you can just copy this thing three four times or maybe let me cancel this let me first make it close from here now we can copy this close one two three times fine 
So first one will be open rest all will be close and let's add some gap at top and bottom okay it has a nice amount of gap at top and bottom so let's do that come at the bottom let's add 90 pixels both top and bottom padding 90 pixels click on save and exit also make this breadcrumbs disable and click on publish cut this about team page and let's open this page in a new tab okay so as you can see this looks nice we have the first one in open state and rest of this is in closed state fine now let us create the last page the contact us page so this is our contact us page this is a really nice contact page now to create a contact us page first we need the api the google api so to get that open a new tab and type in console.developers.google.com okay you'll first have to create a new project it will ask you to create a new project i have already created projects as you can see over here okay so you can just add a new project and you can start doing everything fine after creating a new project you have to go to library and you have to enable this google map javascript api okay you just have to if you don't find it just search over here like uh, google map you can just search over here it will show up okay google map javascript api this is the one open this for me it says manage because the api is already enabled but you have to enable this after you enable this one come back come back to the main page go to credentials now as you can see i already have two credentials created but what you'll have to do is click on create credentials now api key now this is the api key you can just close this because before using this api key you have to add the domain name so you can click on domain verification and as you can see i have two domain names enabled so i'll what i'll do is i'll click on add domain and enter your domain name okay so this is the one copy it paste it over here click on add domain okay so you'll have to verify the ownership whether you're the owner of this domain or not so just click on take me there now click on add a property again paste in your domain name click on continue now what you have to do you have to download this html verification file if we click on this link it will download it for you as you can see the download is complete now you have to upload this file on your server so how would you do that first let's see this file in a folder so open this file in a folder this is the file what i'll do is i'll you know just copy this file on my desktop and after that you can open filezilla then you can open your client filezilla client now you'll have to go to the that website for example over here you'll see monstroid.nayashik.com this is the one open this so we have monstroid.nayashik.com and this is the file which we just copied on our desktop you just have to drag this file in this folder your website folder fine okay so it is finished you can just cut this now come back over here click on i am not a robot now before uh, clicking on this verify uh, button if you want to verify and confirm whether that has worked or not you can click on this link okay it, if this shows this thing and if doesn't if this thing does not show you a 404 page and if it is showing you something like this which means that the verification is complete it is successful after that just click on this verify button fine so it is all it is uh, successfully done now you can cancel this thing from here again come back to this page paste in your domain name so just copy this from here paste in your domain name over here click on add domain now this time it will accept your domain as you can see it has accepted our domain now go to credentials copy the api key from here come back to your dashboard and let's cut this thing first now here you will see this power written over here click on power 
now here you have google maps api key paste in that api key over here and click on save okay fine now we can use map on our website okay now what you can do you can just hover pages and click on add new to add a new contact us page and enter the title as contact us and click on use power builder insert column single column insert module and search for map okay let's see here it is map okay now first what you can do uh, there are two options first we can click on add new pin now what is the pin now if you see over here we have this marker and when you click on this marker you get your company name your address and so on so we can add a new pin like this click on add new pin okay i think first we'll have to do this settings okay so what you can do is just click on over here type in the address you want to show on the map so i'll just type in mumbai and i'll just click on this find button now as you can see we have this mumbai uh, thing over here this mumbai map over here now there are different types of map style you can select this is ultralight now the one which i am using is uh, i guess this apple's map now we, we have many options whatever you like design you can select this so this time let's select ultralight and after that you can click on this button which says add new pin and you know it will ask you for title and after that you can you know just enter the map pin address again here also you'll enter mumbai or whatever address is yours just click on find and here you'll see the marker and in the marker you can add some title like your company name blog dude and after that you can add some something anything over here so i'll just in type in mumbai 40001 click on save now you can see we have this address over here click on save save and exit and it will give you this map okay this map now what i'll do is i'll add this thing these two columns the contacts and at the right hand side we have this uh, title okay the contact form so come back over here click on add new columns now we want this one one by four three by four okay select this one now in the one by four first we have the title and the divider left divider so we'll just click on insert module text left section which is fine then we'll put in this title go to custom css copy this one the left one copy it from here and paste it in the after section click on save and exit so we have these two things okay now after that we have this simple thing now again you just have to copy it from here click on insert new module first let's add some divider over here go to advanced design setting let's add maybe 60 pixels click on save and exit again click on insert module text left and just paste in this code okay just copy it from here and paste it over here and click on save and exit now what you can do is we can copy these two sections the text and the divider to for gap and we can change the text from here for example here it it says let's get in touch so let's type copy this thing and come back over here let's paste it click on save and exit now what i'll do is i'll update the page and we don't have to create this uh, contact form again the reason is very simple because we have already created this in the home page if you remember so actually it is really easy to show but what i'm trying to do over here is i'm trying to show how you can use layout from different pages okay so what we can do is we can open this all pages in a new tab go to home page click on edit now if you go at the bottom we'll have the contact page okay contact section let's go at the bottom okay this is the contact form now let us see this home page again so that you can remember that we created it let's go at the bottom and this is the one we have successfully created it so we, we can just use it you know easily you can just click on this button 
click on add and save to library and make you give it any name like uh, we can give it like contact form okay and click on save and add to library it's done now you can cut this thing you can cut this thing as well and refresh this page now once you refresh this contact us page what we can do is we can click on this button which says add from library and we can select this contact form now we have this same section again but what we we, we want just the contact form so we can drag this contact form over here okay so we have the contact form and we can cancel this thing now let's click on update let's come back over here now come back to your contact us page and refresh it now we can see we have the page over here fine now this is looking really good again we just have to do some basic things like disabling the breadcrumb and adding some space at top and bottom so let's add 80 pixels top and bottom click on save and exit again click on update come back to this page refresh it now this is looking really really nice now there are few things left for example if you see over here we have this thing at the bottom and this is constant on all the pages now let's add that and after that let's add this footer and bottom footer and after that we'll create different menus and how we'll see how to add different type of menus and different type of header so first let's add this thing okay this constant section to get more emails okay newsletter section so what we can do is at the left hand side you will see something called appearances hover appearances and click on widgets now over here search for this one subscribe and follow click on this and from here you will see a lot of options select after content full width area okay so first you will have to select subscribe and follow and after that after content full width area now click on add widget you will have this widget over here now do you want to show the subscribe box yes we want to show the subscribe box now this is the subscribe box and this is the title you can change the title from here as you can see where is it okay here it is subscribe title now instead of subscribe suppose we want to get business and management advice then we can just paste in this title now this is the placeholder enter your email address if you want you can also have the follow box okay this is the follow box we will not see this because we have not added the social icons yet but we can still make this enable now click on save now come back to your website and refresh it now as you can see we have this thing over here but to set up this thing we need mailchimp api key and list id so it is really easy so what you can do is we can go to mailchimp.com go to mailchimp.com to get your api and list id now click on login by the way i have a video on mailchimp free mailchimp email marketing you can you can check out that video on my channel it is nice long video uh, i have thought how to create uh, how to you know run email marketing for free using mailchimp that will really help you now you can put in your username and password and click on login now here at the top just click on this thing and click on account from here now under extra how click on extra and click on api keys okay so this is the api key if you don't see any api key over here just click on this button which says create a key and after that you will see this so copy this thing from here come back on your website and click on customize fine now here you'll see uh, something called mailchimp i guess yeah here it is mailchimp open this paste in your api key over here and after that click on this list if you don't have any list you can just click on this button to create a new list it will create a new list for you i have few list over here so what i'll do i'll open this one and when you open this you'll see an id in the url bar for example as you can see here it says id is equal to this this so i just have to copy the id number 
copy this number again come back over here paste the ID number and click on publish now as you can see once I did that now I can see this box over here this is really looking beautiful now we can set a social menu okay first let's cut everything from here okay so we have this thing now before doing anything else let's cut this thing first let's add this widgets because we are already under widgets let's also add the footer widgets for over here so what you can do is you can just minimize this everything now we have this footer area we have to add our widgets over here so first one is just a simple text this is just simple text so you can copy this text from here come back over here and search for text let us see and search for text here it is click on this and click on footer area click on add widget now copy now just type anything you want about your company you can give a title like this over here we have this about us as the title so we can give any title over here now click on save now minimize this after this we see we have a menu okay so this is actually a menu and here this is also a menu this social icon is a menu and we have one menu over here and one menu for the home page for example i have i have shown you in the demo website that the menu for rest of the pages is different and the menu for home page is different so let's create all the four menus so what i'll do is i'll click on this widgets or i'll just come over here on the dashboard and under appearances you will see menus click on menus now let's first create this menu okay this simple menu navigation menu for the footer because this is really easy so what i'll do is i'll name it footer menu you can name it anything you want i'm naming it footer menu click on create menu and we had, we don't have anything but just the pages okay so just add all the pages in the menu okay these are all the pages i don't have to click on anything over here just click on save menu fine so footer menu is done now it's time to create the social menu this one okay we have facebook instagram and twitter and so on so again click on create a new menu now here let's name it social menu click on create menu and let us see first what we have to do we have to tick mark this thing social now at the left hand side you'll see something called custom links open custom links now suppose you want to add your facebook id so what you can do is you can add your facebook url for example for my for me it's facebook.com slash blog dude and in the link text just type in facebook okay click on add to menu now suppose for twitter again we can just type in twitter.com slash real layer and here we can just type in twitter in the link text fine click on add to menu and similarly for maybe for instagram which i don't use but still you can just i'm just typing in instagram.com and here i'll see instagram click on add to menu and similarly you can add all the links over here now once you're done make sure you have tick mark this social uh, menu from here click on save menu now after this first let's come back to this page and refresh now as you can see we have all the things over here now first let's see what are the different menus for example if you see the home page this is the normal menu when you are on any other page except for home page you will see this menu and here also we have just we just have some simple pages like about us services and all these pages so let's create this menu now click on create a new menu let's name it uh, normal menu you can name it anything it's all up to you click on create menu let's add all the pages from here i accept the home page and click on add to menu now what i can do for home page i can click on custom links copy my home page link from here 
my website URL from here paste it over here and in the link text I can just type in home click on add to menu and drag this thing at the top fine now this is our main menu so just tick mark main from here and click on save menu fine so we are done with this now let's see how the home page menu looks like and why why is that different so when you click on this home you'll see we have different menus and when we click on wires we are you know dragged or redirected to this section when we click on contact section we are redirected to this section and we have these pages over here so let's create this menu so again click on create a new menu let's name it landing menu or landing page menu it's all up to you you can name it anything click on create menu and make sure this thing is tick mark over here land landing main okay now here we have to add all custom links first we'll have to copy the website url over here and after that slash first let's go to the home page and let's see what we have now suppose for okay let it load for example suppose you want to add one option to this section or maybe okay maybe to this section you can call this section anything but you just have to rem remember the name for example I'll just call this in section section 3 so I'll type in section dash 3 okay and here I can type in something like uh, maybe we believe section we believe so we believe is nothing but this will be shown over here okay here we believe will be written and when someone clicks on that they will be re redirected to this section but you'll have to remember this name okay guys this section 3 which you wrote after your URL so it's your website name slash this name because this is the name uh, which we'll be using to create this thing you know clicking on this thing it redirects you over there and so on so you have to remember that name now click on add to menu and before that first let's copy and paste your home URL and over here type in home okay because we want the home at the top now suppose we want one option for this gallery section which we have created so what I'll do is I'll put in my website URL and after that slash I'll to type in gallery and in the link link text also I'll type in gallery click on add to menu and suppose I want to add another option for contact us section which is the last section okay as you can see this section so again I'll type in my website URL and after that slash contact dash us okay now again over here I'll just type in contact us click on add to menu now after that I have these pages and when you hover these pages it is a sub, sub menu and under that we have all our pages so what I'll do is I'll just instead of URL I'll just put a hashtag and I'll type in pages click on add to menu and I'll select all the pages from here click on add to menu and make sure everything is under pages so just drag it at the right okay now click on save menu come back to your dashboard this is the and refresh this page home page now as you can see we have the menu on the home page now when we click on we believe okay as you can see it, it is actually redirecting us to a different page it is thinking that it is a different page okay okay that is basically actually it's my fault because I forgot the hashtag over here before this we have to type in hashtag for example if you see over here it says hashtag contact so we forgot this hashtag okay so again come back to this menu open the we believe and before this section 3 just type in hashtag section 3 and before the gallery type in hashtag gallery and before the contact us type in hashtag contact us okay now click on save menu again come back to this website your home page now when we click on this we believe nothing happens we just get this hashtag section 3 over here but we nothing happens over here now let's see how it works so to make it work what you have to do 
you have to click on this edit page open this link in a new tab okay so we'll have to give this name to each section so for example this is the name section 3 we want for this one we believe section so let's search over here okay so this is the section so what you can do is you can select this section click on this section setting go to custom css and here we have custom I css id here you have to type in this name section 3 and don't type the hashtag okay just type in the name section 3 and leave the hashtag copy this thing from here and paste it over here so we have section 3 over here click on save and exit after that we have the we believe uh, after that we have the gallery section okay so let's come back over here and let's search for the gallery okay i think it is up okay this is the gallery section we have six images one two three four five six so again go to section settings custom css and in the css id just type in gallery okay why we are typing gallery because as you can see when we click on gallery we get hashtag gallery so we want this gallery name over here click on save and exit and the last section which is the contact us section let's search okay here it is contact form select this section setting go to custom css and type in contact dash us click on save and exit fine now go at the top click on update now just cut everything and refresh this page now let's see whether it works or not click on we believe and as you can see we are redirected to the we believe section when we click on this gallery we are redirected to the gallery section so this is working now if you see this is a menu for the home page but if you go to other page like contact us page let's let's see now as you can see we have a different menu over here so this thing is working we also have the sub menu uh, social menu we'll have to add the footer menu over here so let's do that again come back to this widgets to this dashboard and click on widgets and let's see what we have in the footer after that we have this navigation menu so just copy this thing from here just copy the title come over here in the widgets and here we have navigation menu copy this thing just select this thing and select footer area click on add widget in the title you can type in navigation menu and in the select menu section select the uh, footer menu the one which we have created and click on save okay and after that we have recent comments so you can select recent comments from here let's see here it is recent comments just select this and make sure footer area is selected click on add widget you can give it a title for example recent comments and how many comments to show so we have five comments to show five recent comments to show click on save and the last one is contact information now this is also very easy again over here you'll have to search for contact information this one and make sure footer area is selected click on add widget the title is contact information you can save it anything if, if you want now click on add contact information now first as you can see we have the address we have this map pin and we have the address so let's copy the address from here now first choose an icon so click on this and you can search for the icon let's search for map as you can see we have this map marker over here select this fine now in the value you can just type in the address so we have the address now we want this phone icon and we want this phone number so i'll just copy this phone number from here click on add contact information click on this icon now i'll search for phone phone icon okay this is the one select this icon now in the value type in your phone number again click on this add contact information this time we have this email address and the icon is this envelope icon so i'll click on over here search for envelope icon this is the one and in the value i'll type in my email address and at the last we have this clock the time icon and we have our timings over here so i'll copy my timings click on add contact information paste it over here and i'll search for time okay 
type it over here time or maybe not time clock maybe yeah clock select this click on save now come back to this page and refresh this page now scroll back down and as you can see we have everything over here so our footer section is complete now we have some final settings to do okay so let's do that so what you can do is you can click on this customize button now these are the final settings our website is almost ready we just have some few things left okay the first one is site identity click on that now here you can change the title and tagline we have seen how to do this now after that we have general site setting you can upload your custom logo instead of this monstroid logo or you can just select text it will display your site name okay as you can see it is displaying block dude or you can select image and you can upload your custom image from here now after that we have breadcrumbs we have seen how to do that yeah we can you know we have seen that social links enable or so social links you can select page layouts you can if you're you know maintaining your fear under development process if you're just making a website and if you don't want people to see your website whenever they visit your website they should see a maintenance mode you can enable this maintenance mode okay after that i'm just showing you some important settings you can control the background color for example here we have white you can change the background color you can change the typography which is the font and so on for example I think this is uh, H2 for example if you want this is Libre Franklin Franklin font family you can select different font family and you can select whether you want bold italic now a good thing is that you know when you select typography it is you know applied to the complete website so this is very good if you want custom uh, settings custom fonts for your website you can select it from here then we have the header now this is a very important setting for example there is also a top panel available if you click on this enable you can see uh, there is there will be a top panel at the top now as you can see it says premium wordpress website you have your social links and you have this search bar okay you can change this thing from here here it says premium wordpress theme now i'll disable this but you can enable this and you can have a top panel after that we have header elements show search and this is the button okay so you can change the text of the button here it says buy theme and you can change the button url as well after that we have header contact block which we have disabled then we have main menu okay which is text which is fine then stick up mode now for what i'll recommend you is just enable stick up mode because what happens when you scroll down as you can see the menu is stick uh, sticky it is fixed the menu sticks with us okay so this is a very good thing i really like this thing so make sure it is enabled and after that let's see what we have if you want you can add a background image to your website i would never recommend you that we have seen how to create menus and how to set menus uh, we don't want any sidebar we have seen mailchimp api and id then we have seen the widgets so we created different widgets for this is a widget and all these are different widgets okay now here is the footer section this is the uh, you can change these things as well like footer style this is your site name your theme and year so if you want some custom text over here you can just type in for example you can just type in something like uh, let let me show you for example i am deleting this theme from here and i'll type all rights reserves okay fine all rights reserved by the site name and the year okay so we have all rights reserved block dude at year 2018 number of columns uh, we have four columns as you can see over here in the widget area columns and then we also have the social menus fine now come back over here and after that if you wanna uh, if you have some code like adsense code you can paste it over here in the header then we have google analytics if you want to use google analytics you can co paste that google analytics code over here then we have home page setting we have already seen that we have set this page as the home page 
then 404 additional rest everything is not very important okay guys so with this we complete this tutorial i hope this tutorial was helpful if you guys have any doubt any queries whatsoever you can leave a comment in the comment section below i would really love to you know hear from you and i would really love to you know come out and help you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial make sure you guys subscribe to my channel also click on that bell icon so that you don't miss any future videos give a thumbs up with if, if this video helps you you know if you have any doubt and queries feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below thanks a lot for watching guys see you soon